Sir Musket, I'm good here. You can pass it on. I'm all good here. I'm not live, so you can pass that along. What's up, everybody? Hey, hey, how you doing? It's Kaiser here. Hope you're doing well tonight. Uh, on tonight of all nights, we're running a melee tournament. There's not too many people who have entered today, apparently. Apparently, people don't want to play melee, but it's also an exam period and all that stuff. So I'm not too worried about it. But welcome to EVAC at Adelaide Uni. We here. We out here. We're having a good time. We're here to play some melee. I'm excited for a tournament. I'm excited to hit the sticks. I should get some practice in though. Uh, we'll be getting the tournament started very soon. And yeah, stay tuned. We'll be getting. I'll just put in ETA tournament start. Tournament ETA. Uh, let's go 10 mins, 6 p.m. ACDT. Oh. Yeah, it's daylight time. Alright. Yeah, I'm done here. We got the stream on the TV there so people can watch it. That's really good. I'm excited. And I'm going to get some practice in there. Um, Alright. I'll be back with commentary soon. Peace. Mina, peace. It's alright.
All right, we're good. I'm out.
What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are here with Melee! Um, what's up? Ready? Go. Why does that look interlaced? This is running 60 FPS too. It looks right, but I don't, it, for some reason, like, I don't know, deinterlacing? Yeah, no, okay, never mind. I'm, I'm sure it's just my monitor being weird, actually, now that I think about it. Anyway, so up first, we have Scraddles versus Catherine. It's going to be a good one. I am actually really curious to see how Catherine and Scraddles are going to play today. So this will be... A good one, actually. So Catherine will be on the peach. Uh, Scraddles will be playing Fox. So this is a pretty small tournament today. We got only like eight people signed up, so um, expect a very like short broadcast, actually. Um, but yeah, both of these players are plugged in. They're ready to play. Looks like we're getting into some hand warmers up first, I think. Yeah, yeah, some, some crisp hand warmers. Mm, I'm trying to think about like how to best do this like overlay on the top here, but I don't think anything I'm doing with it is like actually any good. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I like that actually. I'll just take that out of all of these scenes. Yeah, just the fact that it covers the um, the player, or rather the timer, I don't really like that. Because I was messing with this last night, right? I was like, oh, you know, let's see if... Um, where are we? This one. So see that, like, scoreboard there? I actually don't really like it on the stream, if I'm being 100% honest. Also, I might uh, configure some of these a bit better. The gain up a bit more and the brightness down. That's better. That's a better color. Alright, we're going into it. Here we are. So, probably, I actually don't know who would really be the favorite in this situation, if I'm being honest. Also, how's the microphone levels? Do the, does the game or the microphone need to go up or down? Let me know. I'll change it. Oh, though. Scrattles taking the first one. I think Scrattles is actually pretty decent against Peach. He's got the tech skill needed to, like, actually contest her. Um, but it's really going to... Like, the micro interactions are really going to separate the difference in player skill, basically. Both are fine. I just, like, adjust them a little bit more, but that should be pretty good. Maybe Mike is a little fuzzy. What do you mean by by that? <laughs> anyway, thanks Black Shadow for the troubleshooting. Fuzz is not a very descriptive word. Static is a different word. If you mean like static, that's the noise floor. Like, just the hiss, like this. 
Anyway, it's just because of the signal to noise ratio. Or like the fuzz might just be like um, the fans going in the venue right now. A lot of things it could be. Oh, really? Because I'm not getting any, like, weird sound fuzz or anything like that. So that's why I'm just, like, curious, eh? I have to sort that out, though, Black Shadow. Like, if you told me that's, that, that there's a problem, I have to find out now, you know? Anyway. Oh, Catherine. About to close out of stock. Brad with the angles, though, he actually has those. Um, I think it, yeah, by the sounds of the stream, Black Shadow, I think it's the fans in the venue that are giving off that sound. Anyway, um, yeah, while I was troubleshooting, Brett, I'm pretty sure Brett took the first game, so I was pretty high. Um, so anyway. Oh, Brett though! Scrabble's actually playing pretty good right now. It's been nice to see him be clean on the sticks, because sometimes he, uh... Hey, hop on. McLeod's joining me on comms. So I'm pretty sure Brad took the first game, right? Okay. First of three, I saw him as well. Come out. There you go. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, Brad. Ooh, that was Bradley, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it's protect us. Catherine's like keeping this really competitive, but Brad is actually looking yeah. pretty decently clean on the sticks at the moment, which is nice to see. <gasps> Bro, no punish either side. I was playing him earlier, and his follow ups were actually looking pretty, really good. Just as speed in general. Ooh, call out on the jump out of shield. Catherine shakes her head. That always feels the last. If I'm a high percent and I'm Peach, I just hold that shield. Like, you can grab me. I hold that shield until you jump or something and then I'll roll. Because, like, you can grab me. You can do whatever you want. As long as you don't up smash me, I'm going to be alright. I mean, sometimes you will. Ooh. I really want to see Catherine. Uh, Catherine push it to a game three, though. Keeping Santa baits out the approach. Oh my god, that what a ballsy, just straight <laughs> angle. <laughs> I actually didn't see that one. <laughs> Peach actually doesn't have fast options to deal with the straight angle. Nah. It's actually kind of sad. You actually kind of just have to shield it. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? That is really sad. Oh, if Catherine actually caught Scrattles' shine there, that would have been game over. But. Brad might wrap it up here. Ooh. Ah, oh, she's still out there. She's fine. Oh no, Brad right off it, stage. This is it, this is it. Smart angle. I think Catherine could have. 
Uh, oh yeah, obviously, right? Yeah. But very it's a bit of a scuffle. Games, yeah, a bit of a scuffle. Gave up a lot of stage though, and she didn't really have to. That could have been everything. Catherine had good DI. Ah, agreed to that stack, and that'll be it. Good shield by Scrattles, actually. A good awareness. Unfortunate, bro. Um, I actually might. Like, this. There we go. That's there we go. Bro. Also, I put these in the wrong spot. You didn't notice. Let's go, Brad. All right. Uh, I don't know who's next. I'm sure. I'm sure Musket will. I think it might be us. All right, oh, we we're go. playing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Neat. Stream. Oh, uh, let's just. What's up? This is. Hi. This could potentially be an interesting set. Um, by that I mean, you know, McLeod's on the come up. He's been improving quite a bit with Peach. And this, like Kai, is definitely favoured by a fair bit, but this is doable. Um, the big thing that sets McLeod apart, I suppose, from the other Peaches in SA is that his edge guarding is actually quite competent, like relative to his skill level. Um, yeah, I think he has a pretty, he has a decent understanding of when and where to go out and kind of just swat uh, Falco away with the bear. Um, as opposed to, you know, Catherine, Catherine's not, doesn't exactly have the strongest edge guards. Alright, let's... Oh. Nice. We got... Alright, cool. Ah, yeah. So yeah, I wonder whether these two are striking. I didn't look. <laughs> uh, okay, Dream On, yeah, that's fair. When you're Falco at Fox, you pretty much have a choice of which, like, of Fountain, uh, FD, and Dreamland, which of the two do you at least, like, which of the three do you tolerate the most? Because, like, some species enjoy Dreamland against Peach, but some really don't. Um, she lives quite a long time. Uh, Kai, Kai likes the stage mainly because... It gives him a lot of space to kind of shoot the gun. Um, top flight is very nice. Oh, that's not, is it? Okay. <laughs> if you do decide to be high enough, you can eventually just use your aerial drift to survive. Um, yeah, I think he would I'd be done at like super low to the ground. Oh no, that's not what you want. He had the nair, then he just stayed out anyway, just to cover some miracle world where Falco manages to make it back. Um, oh well. Um, 
still still even, though. Yeah, Peach definitely could have done quite a bit with that stock before dying. Um, like at 110, that still takes a good two or three bears before Peach is dying. Oh, wait a oh you can't really think about that. You just have to move on. Very good actually by McLeod to like not preemptively float before getting hit by the laser. He makes sure to float right afterwards. Um, otherwise he would have just been immediately knocked out of float and would have been in a really awkward position. But doesn't quite manage to make it back to stage. It's hard. You have to contend with like Falco full hop plus bear just covers so much space. Vertically. Um, really good bear. Like, by McLeod. It was, you know, it wasn't a particularly, it was a panic side B by Kai, but um, still he, it felt like he reacted to the side B, and that's, oh no, oh, Kai either dropping through, even just normally, or she'll drop and just getting eaten alive by that down smash. It always feels so bad as a spacey. Oh, this could be soon. Oh, uh, no. Okay, still cleans. Well, that cleans up the edge guard. This is, yeah, this is looking really good for McLeod. Let's see if he can actually, like, I think the dream for Peach at this point is to at least get one, like, solid down smash. Ah, uh, okay, well. That's unfortunate, but I think right now, if Kai's not going to just run into these like down smashes, then it's up to McLeod to tack on enough percent to the point where like something like a bear or an air is going to cause knockdown on Falco, and that's when he can actually get some yeah you know, really nice tech chases or just punish the missed tech or something like uh, dash tech. And dash tech leads to so much, especially if the spacey does not DI fall out. He's definitely behind by a fair bit. He's like one solid back air is probably going to put Peach off stage. And depending on where he is, yeah, I want if that down air hadn't traded and uh, Falco was just able to clean hit Peach, but uh, down air maybe. He could have gotten another one to close out the stock, but... And yeah, Kai kind of just shoots the gun, uh, and then punishes uh, McLeod when he sort of over overcommits, goes in. It can be scary jumping as Peach. You have many more defensive options on the ground. And... It's not like a fast forward where the amount of time after you cancel your jump or like fast forward after you um, is minimal. With Peach, you kind of, even if you fast forward Peach after float, you still kind of meander a little bit before you hit the ground. And yeah, you're vulnerable during that. Okay, so we're going to FD, which, yeah, I assume Kai probably banned FOD. I think McLeod's chain grab is decent. To be honest though, oh, okay, that was, wasn't the greatest dumb. Edge guard by McLeod. Never really, like, never really threatened um, covering ledge. Try to do that, like, fair that every Peach does where they want this, like, magical spacing where fair will both cover spacey going to ledge, but won't won't commit enough to the point where you can still punish if they go higher. I mean, it's, I think the spacing is possible, but it can be quite tricky. Oh, okay. This, this needs to be big money, and Peach's chain grab is quite easy. Weird up to it. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Um, I don't think it would have... Yeah, I don't think it true combos with anything, so presumably it will flop. Ooh. 
What's he going to get off this, though? A really bad wall jump, but still manages to save it with a, just, you know, a horizontal up B. It's not the greatest. Like, it isn't a sweet spot at that wall, but if people aren't prepared to punish it immediately, then it works quite a lot of time. And yeah, we're going to see... I mean, a dream, like, the dream here is for Peach to somehow get a grab at, like, 10. Because I feel like if uh, McLeod lands a grab here at... Yeah. If he had landed a grab below 10, he was probably just going to out for a down smash. Oh, this is weird. I wonder if he could have grabbed. Maybe not, but... My first thought was grab there after the death attack. Because that would have been an easy 40% and, like, ending with either a near that... I think, in general, as Falco... I think you kind of want to just DI to the middle of the stage and then either try and jump or shine out. And by the time it like stops working, Peach just goes for like a near. You're not too far off stage, if any. Yes, yeah, old stock. Um, see how much more percent of I can get though. And yeah, these down smashes are eating Kai's jabs alive. It's hard because when you land as Falco, like outside, when you're close enough to Peach, but not close enough that you can do something like Laser Shine, it kind of feels awkward about what your next option is. It's, it's an iffy spacing Falco, so it's very tempting to go for Jab. But, oh, catches the very end of the fire, uh, Firebird. Alright. That was a solid game from the club, but. That was his counter pick. I wonder where we're going. I feel like we're, I feel like we're probably going battle for. Yeah, because I think Kai probably. I'm oh not Kai. Ah, uh, McLeod probably bans Yoshi's. <laughs> I guess that leaves the Falco either Battlefield or um, Stadium. And Kai loves his top flat, so... <laughs> Good CC. Like, I don't think... I think Peach's um, dash attack can't be ACI down, but it can definitely be CC. Actually, maybe it can be ACI down, but you don't get, like... Well, actually, I wonder if you um, can ACI down that tech. Oh, that's not important. Anyway, they're both quite high. Kai, I think this spot just wants a back air. Um, Peach wants... Oh... Okay. Oh, this... Yeah. He really needed to... Still cover that. Kai is very good at like hitting that angle. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a greedy down smash, but still manages to flip the end of it. But you know, eventually gets bared by the Falco. 180 though. The Cloud's definitely happy with that. Ooh, that was actually a really good down smash. Because he knew exactly where Kai was going to dare, and he just he didn't think that Kai was going to overshoot it. So just go just outside that spacing and put out a down smash. In. Ooh, this is... It's a really good... Um, yeah, well, I mean, it wasn't really a combo. It just, like, kind of kept him in disadvantage. But... Um, a while, but yeah. All right. Well, McLeod's behind. We're gonna see. I think at this point he probably wants a back air right now. I think those are his two big reliable options. Oh. Bear's also very good, but it's quite slow. And unfortunately, he messes up the edge guard there, which... Okay, really weird 
like, wait by Kai. Must have, like, flubbed the input or something. Okay, guess an air. This isn't by no means over. Um. But the problem is, when you're at a beach in this spot, it can be really... When you're behind, it can be really tempting to think, man, I need to get back in this game, so I need to down smash. But we're not really seeing that right now, but... Gets back to gets back to station ledge. Ledge can be really tricky for Peach. Um, since she has no ledge dash, and I think Taunt Win is probably one of her better options off ledge, especially above 100. <coughs> um, stand to get up and get up attack her, pretty much. Well, and roll, honestly, are pretty much just a free hit. Yeah, these. The problem with dash jacks are they're getting, um... But they're getting CC'd and they're also just... They're late dash jacks, so he's not getting the strong hitbox. Um... Oh. Still, it was a... Yeah, reasonably close set. Um... I'm sure there's a lot that McLeod will take away. And I think up next... I'll just be back in a sec and get my water bottle. Yep, sure. Um, very soon, we'll have me and Brad. Actually, we'll probably do hand warmers now, so when Kai comes back, um, he'll be... Yep. Redvis Musket. We'll see how it goes. I think Brad might take a game, but three games. It's gonna be a fair bit. Musket's just got that consistency, which Brad definitely doesn't have. We're not against Musket anyway. Brad always gives me like so much hope, and I always get let down, so, you know, I don't know if, if he gives me much hope anymore. It's not bad at the chain grab, I don't think. But Musket just has that shit practice. Alright, Battlefield. Good starting. Like the drill to start it off. Use the tech chest there. You can tech that ASDA down and get that bumpers combo. Not enough people do it. He's probably just expecting Musket to go for the grab because it's pretty grab heavy. Oh, reversal, yes! 
Before the flames even come out. Oh, yeah. See, grabs actually so hard to if um, box up smashes your shield. Um, wave dash out grab to punish it is really hard. I usually just go for the shine. Good dash dance. Waits out the spot dodge that time. Yeah. Oh, nice. Good DI by Musket there. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh my god. Yeah, that happened, Brad. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's interesting. And that, that changes everything, honestly. Oh man, yes. Brad loves that shit. I know he loves that shit. <laughs> What a grab. Oh, both kind of stuck in the movement. Okay. Up it. One more. Uh, okay. Brad, bring it right back. Brad covers nothing with that edge guard. And that was done. Oh, he crash chances it. Oh, this could be juicy. Damn, that happened like a couple times. Muskie got lucky, but Brad just did dumb stuff. Uh, no, Brad didn't win that. That was Muskie. My bad. Grab into like a hit and get him off stage. See, Musket's just way better at holding center. Right, does like a lot of attacks into the corner, and like if they don't work out, you're just like in a terrible spot. And I think uh, <laughs> Musket's a bit more disciplined in that sense. That sucks, trying to go for a cool thing. Just get shy for it. Nice day. Oh my god, my eyes are watering so much, and literally everywhere I look, there's a light pointing at me. Oh, another screen. Not good. Oh, that's good though. Not good for Moscow. I'm lucky with follow-ups. Oh, not that one. It was a bit ambiguous where he was going to hit the platform on the ground. I like it. He had a jump and he didn't use it. Just got the stretch Last guy could have down smashed again, I feel. Okay. Musket not fooled by Randall being out. That's a hard grab as well. Ooh, is Brad gonna get a team shot? No, he's gonna get grabbed. Brett's 
Brad's had some opportunities, but he's, he just hasn't been clean enough. Ah, oh, right. A musket's just like, Brad does like a lot of attacks into the corner and puts himself in a bad position. Oh, he sure does. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> and then musket just holds center way better. Imagine how, like, how much better, like, results on edge guards Brad would have if he just, like, raw grabbed people in the corner instead of, like, up smash or aerial. Yeah. Something to think about for for approaching people in the corner. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, just wait. Just yeah, waiting's really good with Fox. If you just like people are really scared to just wave dash down with Fox. So it's like yeah. Um. Because they want to always be moving, but like wave dashing down is really good with strength. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Any other stage probably would have killed, actually. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Does Brad do much refreshing on the ledge? He should do a bit more. Okay. But yeah, I feel like he hasn't been edge guarding that well to set. Oh my god. He's missed three edge guard attempts. Just kill him outright. Just do that, then you don't have to edge guard. This is actually pretty tight. I hope this isn't another 3-0 but close though. It, probably, it, it might be. Probably. Yeah. Also Dreamland, interesting. It's an interesting pick, pick for straddles, I feel. Yeah, he went he went um, to Yoshi's for the first game of pitch. Okay. And I, I definitely feel like he's a Yoshi for this Yeah. You don't want to give Musket the room, and you don't want to give him like room to chain grab you, and just hold center. Uh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, Musket is doing what he needs to do. Musket really uh, be like, textbook. Oh, there it is. The Musket. But he doesn't finish up the edge guard. He could have. Uh, yeah, Brad has done it. Oh, it's okay. it's okay. It's <laughs> okay. Yes! Let's go, Brad! Well, yeah, let's go, Brad. Let's go, Brad. <laughs> I want it. I want it so much more now. I hope Brad wants some peeps now. Oh, Wispy! I feel like, no, I actually feel like Brad thrives off shit like that. Or like a Sakurai combo. He just, he just gets powered up by it. <laughs> oh! All right, he's, oh my god, he's, he's kept go. it going. Yeah, he's picked up the pieces when he's. Yes! Up. All right, Musket's got to pull it together. Musket's going to play a lot more patient now, I feel. Musk uh, Scrabble's movement's gotten a bit better, actually, too. I always feel like Brad's movement has been decent. He's getting better, which is really sick. Like, I saw him before, he did like a, like a pivot or a shield stop uh, wave dash back up to it. Yeah. I'm like, you don't even, like, Musket only goes for this sometimes. Yeah. I like how Musket mixes in like, the up B roots. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a Brad Nair. <laughs> Just running off the platform with a Nair. Musket's all, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah, Brad knows it, Brad knows it. He's, he's, he's checking. Oh, not good to die. And then he reads it again. Ah, uh, man. Playing. Three over close. Another one. <laughs> oh, no. Poor Brad. We all want him to do so well. He'll bring it together. We all believe. We're all just like secret Scrattles fans. Um, also, yeah, Nikita, um, we've got a couple of lights. We've got a ring light for the players and we've got like a LED light for uh, the commentators. Uh, because it's EVAC, I don't want to do be doing as much setup at EVAC tournaments. But we do have other like big ring, like a bigger ring light and two other big key lights that we've ordered in for like the Cheese League and, um, and also uh, the big cheese coming up this year. But anyway, I th yeah, it's me and Ruben now. Here we go. I'll just quickly pop in uh, our info so to save whoever comes on a little bit. Nang a rang. Samus. Wait, he's probably actually playing Captain Falcon now that I think about it. For some reason, Nang's has been playing. This is, uh, I mean, it's kind of a monthly. So the way EVAC tournament works is. We have a tournament on one Friday, and then there's nothing on the next Friday, and then the uh, then the Friday after that, it becomes uh, an ultimate tournament. So the melee and ultimate swap. Yeah. So every on fortnight there weeks. is a tournament of some description. This is one of those weird months where you get two melee tournaments because it's the first. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. 
So, yeah. Next melee tournament will be on the 29th, probably. And by probably, it's definitely on there. Don't know why. So we do it this way, but that's just the way it is. So. Yeah, to be honest, Game of the Week is pretty dead for you back. Yeah, we've been looking to get back into that, and it's just been like, ah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's already done, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, the old, like, the old argument was that um, if, there were, like, if we ran a melee tournament every week, then... Um, or like a, a Smash tournament every week, then it would take away from like people entering Game of the Week. But there's like yeah. very I much zero crossover. Yeah, Game of the Week kind of died not because like any circumstances to do with the games. It was the fact that we were changing rooms constantly, so that people at Evac mm. changed so frequently. Because like it's hard enough to get new people to come to a thing where you know, when you got to add, oh yeah, come to this room, and it's yeah. just like where the fuck's that? Thick student lounge or like any of the other eight or nine rooms we were in last year. Yeah, it was a rough. We were definitely um, the nomadic Smash people. Um, yeah, to be honest, like I'm a fan of um, say melee one week for the like for the Friday melee one week, on one week, then a week off. In terms of like, and then like reset. I mean. Because that lets people for the week off then run, you know, say someone wants to run a brawl tournament or yeah. whatever. Yeah, I, I think the hard thing becomes then figuring out what when the week is, sort of thing. Because if it's every four weeks, you know it's roughly once a month. I right? guess, yeah. But then you got to start dealing with, you know, what happens when we hit the thing and it's like, ah, it's already been... Like, like this month's weird enough with two of them in a month. Like you start adding two every month, and then you got new players asking why the fuck there's two melee tournaments this month, but only one ultimate one, despite them having weeklies and shit. We mean there should be there would be two for both. No, it wouldn't be. Wait, because uh, there's only four uh, weeks. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what? I mean, I don't think I don't. I think we should I probably don't. just be like, we should figure out in the schedule and go right. Melee is the second, the first week in the month, and ultimate's like the. Fourth or something, I don't know, some way of avoiding cheese leaks and uh, other monthly events so that we, instead of having this like, well, it's every second week we can just go, it's the first Friday or whatever, yeah. Anyway, we're going, this is, um. Still going Falcon, is he full swapping or? I don't think so, I think this is. That's what I thought, but. Well, he's oh. trying it again. I said it like it didn't work last time, he definitely went, they traded sets last time. They sure did. But the second one was looking a lot worse. Yeah. So whether that's Ruben playing worse or whether... Uh, whoops, no, that one. In game. There we go. I was... Oh, okay, yeah. Mirror. And he is not Samus, he is... Uh, oh, uh, oh it's Captain. Captain. Yeah. yeah. Captain Falcon Green. Uh, now you got to do the thing. Is that not... Ah, uh, because they're on the... Wrong bases. Wait, what? It was already the right one. I think. Oh, but yeah, the, yeah, you, you're right. Is that yep, you're right. Why is that not? You swap all. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, it took forever. Um, is Nang's oh, a Samus? Nang is. He's a fox. He's a falcon. He's a floaty with good fundamentals. So. He can play. Um, he is capable of Samus. Yep. And he's one of the um, top players in the region, so um, it means that he has a lot of time to practice secondaries against his fellow. Um, I'm sure there's a. I'm sure there's a whole like there's hours of um, Falcon again, like Falcon friendlies against say random dice people. Yeah, yeah, you gotta think. You'd imagine he's been, you know. Because, like, I, Dice isn't the sort of place where I feel like you sit down and you're like, right, I'm about to play a few hours of Samus. Uh, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can play. Okay, it doesn't. It's hard. It's, yeah. it's hard as Falcon. Interesting that Kai moved forward for that. Yeah, I thought. Uh, like, unless he was expecting Ruby to really FDI out, I don't know what that was about. Maybe he just. Yeah. You know, Accidentally flicked the stickers if he's going for it or something. Maybe. Maybe he thought he's going to land a bit further away. Man, Falco Shine's broken. <laughs> Killed off the side at 175. Damn. What a move. What a. Okay. Anyone deal with a move that good? Alright, he just. Yeah, he, Kai just doesn't do the. Get the pre ledge. 
Well, no, I think he was trying to go to ledge there. I think that's the thing. I think he was trying to go to ledge, but he just messed up the angle. I don't know. That I think so. It feels like an angle he hits like 100% of the time, so. I'm going. If, if, that's, if you're right, that's not a good time to try for the set. Maybe. Falcon's the sort of character that, like, if you're missing edge guards, you feel it. No, missing recoveries, I mean. Yeah. Because he's not, like. And techs. Yeah, Falcon's and not. Well, yeah, execution <laughs> is. I think more in terms of recovery, like, Falcon's not the sort of character that, like, will edge guard you super strong, like, unless he goes out there and gets you, sort of thing, right? Mm. Like, everyone else in the cast kind of waits for you to do a thing and then punishes you for trying to come back. Whereas Falcon tries to hit you when you start up. And, like, if you're allowed to start up against Falcon, you should get back. Like, this. Oh. Uh, oh, you did. You get the right Gentlemen, idea. yeah. Okay, well, at least. Like, Kai's done yeah, with the eye of these arm down is. Yeah. Damn, yeah, enough time. Yeah. Was I mean, he had enough time. It's, um. It's easy to forget after being used to, like, spacey up B and, like, that side B is yeah, side actually B, reasonably very constant. laggy move. <clears throat> Even knee can hit it. Knee starts knee. frame, like, 47. But yeah, the thing is, I want to, like, I actually don't, I don't play much Falcon, and I definitely yeah. don't edge guard much <laughs> with Falcon, so... But in theory, couldn't he, like, do something similar to Fox and Falco, where he, like, grabs Ledge, goes out, does, like, a back air to cover Falco going to, um... I guess the question is, what does he go for afterwards if Falco goes high? Maybe yeah, Falco... Head. Yeah, like, so... I think the big thing is you just run off knee and then double jump up there. And that covers, like, most mm. things. The scary part is if they get past you, I'm dead. Right? Yeah, and you're, you're such a terrible position. Yeah. Point. Oh, these so, back airs... Are just, he's just putting out these back airs and Kai's... Just... Okay, he's at the point now where, like, a down air into a knee is... Interesting back throw. I kind of like it, actually. You think it was intentional? Yeah. No, but no, it like might. it worked out. But of. it's one of those things where it's like no one expects it, so you get one. Mm. And by the way, like you're not really getting anything by the ledge as Falcon against Falco. Oh. Because he's like too close to run off, so if he dies out, you kind of just have to cop it. I guess you could do some pivot stuff. So remember they did the right thing with the down throw, and then he like crouched to um, you know, fade out the get up attack. But he went for jab, and that's I'm guessing he meant. Is I think he's been like, using jab a lot to cover spot dodge. Yeah, but a low percent of like. Oh, yeah, yeah, you get crash cancelled. Yeah. But I think that's one of those things where he just forgot that, oh, yeah, I can't do that below like 60. Oh, this is so big. Yeah, why do you grab ledge? No! I think. That's shield poke! That's. Sometimes life is not fair. Yeah. Sometimes, I mean, <laughs> sometimes you get shield. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah, you can definitely do that. Yeah. I forgot about that one. Yeah, if you're not holding away, you just. Yeah, um, shield poke's happened. That's. Like, Falco's little. You know, his mohawk I seems real cool, but that sort of thing gets him hit. Nice thing, I think it clipped his, like, oh, back foot. Oh, okay. I think it clipped the, like... Didn't clip his, like, tail feathers or anything? I don't think so. I feel like it was... Anyway, Damn. we'll have to, like... We'll, you know, after this set, I'm sure we'll go back and watch yeah. the odds. And yeah, get the on. Nintendo and Slippy going. Oh, okay. That was really good. I wonder if that was okay, a... yeah. I wonder if that was a, um, read or if that was him catching on the Kai's. Um, I wonder if, like, Kai was specifically oh, no, attacking. Yeah. Kai should have realized he lost his double jump there and just kind of mm. down it. <laughs> uh, that's not what you want. a very good spot. He reads the double jump, but he down airs instead of nairing, so he can get back three. Please. I think that this has been a big thing with the set is your sh shield pressure against Falcon doesn't have to be good, it just has to be good enough that you don't get stomped. Mm. And at the moment, Kai is just like leaving enough of a gap that Ruben's taking lead advantage of it. Yeah, in between those shines. Especially because he's like, wait, shining. But that's... Yeah, that's big, big oh, that was really good DI. It's so good, just because the way he slid off afterwards as well. Normally, it's still in a bad spot there as fucking, but... Mm. Yeah, it wasn't so much. Oh, oh now if, I, if I'm... Good. Yeah, if I'm the spacey, I'm getting a bit spooked. But... Oh, I think he could have down it. Yeah, he could have. Ah, oh, really but good can't drift. let him get through that, yeah. Did yeah, I catch do it? Uh, yeah. I wonder if he could have like jumped after lasers. Uh, I don't think. This would I think the problem. Yeah, I think the problem there is you just get forward smash at 200. Hmm. Because you're not high enough to kind of force a mix up. You just kind of have to cop it. Which, I mean, you could get the tech, but. All right. Yeah. Stadium. That's pretty standard choice. Yeah. 
Especially because like three mines already off. Well, they played game one there, yeah. I think so, yeah. Oh no. Oh, okay. They actually, I thought they went Yoshi's game one. Did they? Yeah, because why would you let Falcon go to Dreamland? Yeah. You forced him to go FD for Yoshi's. Okay. So I think he's still got Dreamland on the table if he mm. loses this or game five or whatever. He might end up going back to Stadium, to be honest. I think he. Um, oh, yeah, game five, yeah. If he, um, if he loses, though. Yeah. Well, you never know what the tree can cause the Falcon. <laughs> so that was actually, even though it didn't matter at all, that was very good, um. Very good, like, SDR. You can see, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kai sort of, like, move in, but did not make a difference. I hate when you're, like, SDRing like that and you jump into something. It's oh. like, you know you're about to get, like, kneed by Falcon, and then they full hop instead of short hopping or something. And you're just, like, trying to mash it, and it's like, oh. Yeah. It really. <laughs> Whenever your jump gets caught, caught by knee, it's, it's a bad feeling. Especially when you're trying to do the right thing, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Okay, gets the grab. Uh, spot dot shine. Yeah, spot dot shine definitely a good anti falcon option until he starts needing it. Yeah, it's true. It's falcon definitely has like if falcon gets a catches on that you're spot dodging, then yeah, stuff like knee or stomp is just so huge. Because like even at this percent, yeah, knee a threat and a half. Mm. Uh, you know, Ruben like was ready for the get up attack but it just didn't matter. Sometimes stadium does that to you. What a stage. It's catches the drift back. Yeah. Ruben was good to eye on it though. Mm. Yeah. Can't DI that. I <laughs> think there might be a world where like some insane amount of SDI just somehow Yeah I'm like it's you. Thinking about before how you get out of down tilted by Mark. If you're out of a double jump as Falcon, I'm like, I wonder if there's enough SDI to get back to, like, being able to detect the stage. Mm. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. That. Yeah. Ruben's got to catch on to, like, Kai's falling speed, I guess, and just go out there and hit him for it, because the amount of times you could just go out, Falcon can just kind of cover everything with knee and then up air if he, like, up his high. You just kind of have to do it every now and then if... I don't know, if you I, want to hit some of these edge guards. I think it's not. I mean, it's spooky. Because if you miss it's time, spooky, you get spooky, but it's also what, like, puts the fear of God into spaces. If you, yeah. Like, because that's what gets you uh, early stocks, which is kind of what you need against Falco. Because, mm. like, if you just kind of trade stocks with him, you're going to lose eventually. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah, that was a bad double jump for Kai, and Kai knows it. Like, it was the classic, you bump off the stage, so you're like, oh, I can act, and then you get hit by, yeah. No attack. Ooh, interesting. And suddenly this feels very, very good for the Falcon. It yeah, took yeah. like four knees. <laughs> he was, like, 20 seconds ago, I was thinking, oh, I wonder if he goes back to game five, yeah. uh, game four, but... And now you're thinking, oh, Kai's getting need once and losing this game. Yeah, yeah like, one, I feel like maybe 10 more percent in a stomp. Yeah, or like one but knee and a read. He hasn't gotten hit in a while, and he's. I keep going for like forward throw F smash to like. I guess catch out a bad double jump oh. to like. Oh, this is huge. Oh, oh, oh no. that's. Uh, and oh, Ruben life is not back, fair. Yeah. Sometimes life is not fair. Ruben had to realize he had to go high. Wouldn't have mattered, but like. Do I believe? I think he could have. Potentially ended it with a knee early when he went from there. Yeah, I think he was concerned the knee wouldn't come out, but yeah, I would have up yeah. it again. Oh yeah, and we're going back. That's yeah, it stands to reason. Like yeah. when you're that close as well, it's like I can obviously win this game. Good tech chasing to play. and then if he can close. Ah uh, yeah, he missed the L cancel then, or he was just slow. But it is a guaranteed setup. I don't know what the go there was. Right. Messes up the gentleman, but still gets out relatively free. Yeah. He's like lost a bit of tempo, but oh, oh could be good. Either. Yeah, yeah, and doesn't double jump. Like doesn't um jump early. So like, 
I think if he jumped early, he would just got eaten by the um, down air. Yeah. But he's going high, and um, Kai's catching on, and just going out. Yeah, Falcon. Falcon Falcon can definitely just do that to Falcon. Mm. He's got the vertical leap. He can just jump up there and get him for it. In general, well, that's, a, that's such a bad feeling, getting a stomp at 80, and they're just, like, barely airborne. So they, they just land immediately, like, oh, mm. where, where's my stock? Um, in general, when, it, yeah, like, when edge guarding Falcon, if you um can meet him before he like oh, does yeah, the second half yeah. you want, yeah, because like before he starts drifting, yeah, yeah. 100. percent Like I know his Fox, just jump and double jump there, and yeah, so good against Falcon when edge guarding. Uh. Grab. So in these spots where um, Falcon has already had to double jump to like get close to the ledge, yeah. Kai is getting off the ledge early, and to be honest, you don't really need to in the sense because I, like, I think he's more. Yeah, he, if he's doing it early, yeah. Because I'm. Um, I, I think the threat is that he's going to do the double jump a little bit later and need the ledge. Yeah. I'm talking about in spots though where he's um already double. Oh yeah, when he's done it early, yeah. yeah, you can definitely just hold on. Because up he doesn't grab you when you're on the ledge, so good edge cancel. Oh, that was yeah, actually that was really sick. Really clean stop. Yeah, the up he doesn't grab you, so you can definitely just stand a get up like shine or forward smash or something. Mm -hmm. It's um not quite as good for Falco as it is for Fox because for Fox you just shine <laughs> and it doesn't it doesn't matter whether, whether they um like need a ledge or not after the up B yeah, like, yeah. you just shine into up smash or down smash or I feel like the difference between like, Ruben's Falcon and like a really good Falcon is Ruben they're both putting him in the same spots but the good Falcon just like terrible guy that shine. gets a read and just deletes the stock whereas Ruben's like he goes for the same read, but he doesn't, like, commit to it. So he's like, Kai's probably going to double jump back here to get, and come, you know, get back to the ledge. And SJJ jumps off and needs that every time, right? Yeah. Whereas Kai's just getting away with that sort of thing because Ruben's not going for the thing that kills him at zero. I mean, I guess that comes from experience and comfort. Yeah, exactly. And It's just about... And, like, playing the character more than two tournaments. This is looking pretty good. Oh, no. This transformation is also so bad. But he's managed to, like, yeah. corral him out of it. Oh, that was up air. You gotta up air his stuff in there. Like, yeah, otherwise, I think so. Because well. it could have covered. I think yeah, you covered can't cover it high enough. Oh, that sucks so bad. You know, Mark's grabbing that every time. Yeah. Shorten. So this is Falcon. So, you yeah. Know. Oh, okay. So, yeah, oh. the stock ain't over. Oh, and he misses his jump, so he doesn't get it back here. Yeah, that's it. Um, I guess we do want to lose. We'll probably do it up to the semis, right? Yeah, when it's uh, loses quarters, yeah. one of them. Yeah. What do we got, I guess? No, she's already played Brad. So she'd be on the other side, so it'd be Brad versus Cloud, probably? Yeah, yeah Brad versus Cloud. Unless Taylor beat him. But. And then you versus Whoever, um, Brad against... McLeod or yeah, assuming you beat Cap uh, Caleb. Yeah. 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 Best of five in an eight-player tournament. Oh, yeah. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, that's a better one. What do we got? Straddles. And... I McCloud? assume McLeod, yeah. It will be Peach White. Nice. Also, for comms, we have... <laughs> So I think it's going to be a really close set. It wasn't, uh, from what I gathered, it wasn't that. Actually, no, it was three one last time they played. Um, but I, I think it'll be closer than that this time. McLeod's on the come up. He's improving quite a bit. Yeah. Do you think he's better than Catherine yet, or? It depends on the matchup. I think. Yeah, that's I think, fair. I think it's very much. Um, actually, to be honest, they're I very probably, similar in skill level. I would probably put Catherine. Um, 
in the Fox, like above McClellan the Fox matchup. To be honest, I always find Catherine, but that could also be like Catherine being more comfortable playing. Well, yeah, that's against, playing against you because yeah, she plays your bunch. Um, what are we waiting on here? Where is McLeod? Oh, he's getting his drink. He's okay, yeah, fair. McLeod has a nice new haircut. He's yep. He's looking. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I'm thinking back to like some of the old um like. From the winter tournaments when he was wearing that, like, you know, that vest, oh, yeah, yeah, and he yeah. had to, like, he looked like an angry Russian or something. Um, was, yeah, now he looks like a background person in Greece. Ooh, to be fair, you had to, you know. I mean, they're, they're getting paid well. They, Half of chat would want to be there. Yeah. As long as they, you know, get to put the earplugs in. Wait, Greece is in, like, the TV show? The movie or whatever movie? it was, yeah. Okay. Because there was a um, TV, oh, was there was a TV series about a um, called Greece on like ABC. Oh. Um, about no some like that. college, yeah. All right, let's get. Oh, no, how, do, how do we hit one of these? I, can't, I keep yeah. looking at like sources, but when I'm looking, I'm like, why isn't, why isn't it doing anything? All right, let's. Uh, no, what are, yeah, what are we, you doing? We hit, hit, hit one no, of these. Mirror. We doing hand warmers. I mean, I guess yeah. It's like, well, one of, the, right. One of these. This way we can see our, yeah, our, that our happy faces. Ow. We can see there. We can yeah, see the players. See That's true, yeah. You um, get it all. McLeod looking very focused. I mean, I would too if I asked like that. Brad, um... <laughs> I love what... Like, Loki, I love watching, like, Brad's um, face in, like, camps. He just... I think on stream next probably. Um. Actually, I say that, but it's a best of it's a best of five. Peach Samus. Ooh. Yeah. Could be best three. I mean. Oh uh, wait, he's going Falcon. Never mind. He's going Falcon. Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, we do want that on stream. Right, I got him. Yeah, we got there. Every time. Uh, oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so destruct the fountain. Actually, yeah. it makes sense for Brad. He's always struck Peach to um, fountain. Uh, yeah, he likes the small space. It makes sense. Actually, did Catherine and Brad, you, they um, went to fountain game one? I have no idea. I was not here until uh, the second set of the day. Sure. Um, ooh, really good. Like, he just grabbed him, dude. He just well, no, jumped at him and grabbed. The reason why it was good is because... Um, like, McLeod was definitely expecting um, Brad to land with, like, a bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. So, you know, definitely a good grab, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's gonna get down. Yeah, Peach can't really cover the top platform well. Yeah, top flat sucks. And <laughs> when you're Peach. Top flat is a mistake. Hey, top when platform you're, you're sucks when you're Peach, but they won't ever take you to stadium. Really? No. Wait, what? No. <laughs> There's Peach. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like it's all they're all high and mighty about not liking top platform, but they won't go to the only other stage if you ban a D. Give me like a top plat where I don't die. <laughs> I don't <laughs> die to an up smash at like 80 or 70. Dude, we had that at Pal, and they didn't pal. take us there. We've taken foxes out. Say us. Yeah. Like fox in this matchup. I don't like getting crouch cancelled to Oblivion trying to shine people. Yeah, really is an execution test until a certain point. Yeah. If you can't meet it, then... Oh, no, no, I'm locked outside of it. Alright, I'll tell. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey. Alright, must be holding the troops right now, Kai. We'll see how effective it is. Yep, we got Ruben going down. Don't they normally just leave the thingy out there? That sucks. Yeah. Oh, big money. Yeah. <laughs> bit of bit of stuttering, bit of um flubs yeah. <laughs> in movement, but Cut off the Miss ledge dash into oh they let me get to ledge again immediately hit a good one. 
Yeah. Right. Kai is snuck back in. Okay, we rescued him. <laughs> oh, really bad dash attack. Bye. Uh, oh, that's worst drill. He, he wants to up smash. I wonder why. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Um, because I don't think. I'm not sure if that drill into Shine was actually true. No, it wasn't, yeah. but I think what happened was McLeod was trying to SDI it out mm. and got caught in the. Wait, I SDI, but they keep drifting towards me. Uh, yeah. Um, but I guess. Uh, oh, what? Yeah, I won. I won, yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, you do get to go to FD though, which is always nice. You know, man, getting a grab is hard against spaces. It makes up for the fact that you have one of the absolute easiest train grabs that gets like a yeah, free yeah. 80, but you know, it's not the most free yeah. below 20. Below it's 20 no Ganon did a chain grab, that's right. for sure. <laughs> um. I'm surprised Brad didn't put out a backer there, just other things. Well, doesn't really matter. Yeah, you just. Sometimes you just flick up on the other stick and the other guy dies at 80, you know, normal stuff. And if you're then going to come in and use shield, then you flick. Well, I guess well, you, you have flick to hit both, both sticks. sticks, yeah. What a complex character. Uh, I wonder if. Like, when. Like, Fox Line and her bear there, I think Kapar could have gotten a grab. But That's I think Kapar still would have just been, like, really surprised. Yeah. yeah. Surprised that side B hit him. So he was going straight over, I guess. Brad knows the side B hitbox better than I do. Probably more important for him to know it as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I guess he knew. I wouldn't have just been pulling a tournament swing. Whatever. I would have yeah, been. You, very you, you would have been very panically grabbing the ledge and repression. Yep. Oh, this is going to be really big. Yeah. Bad DI, but I guess he was trying to shine out. Yeah, probably. Also, I guess not the greatest spacing. I mean, it worked out there because he got sent the other way, but in general, yeah. I think you want to go to like, the middle of the stage. Yeah, Brad also didn't do the, um, hold down. <laughs> okay. Oh, risky. Risky stuff, but... You know, that's Brad yeah. sometimes. God bless yeah, him. He loves to go out and... Sometimes you've got to take an absurd risk to kill a guy at 100. Mm -hmm. A lot of time you don't, though. <laughs> a lot of time you wish you do that to kill a guy at zero. How is this? I don't know. It felt like he was going to die at 60 then. How is this Peach coming down? I don't know. He should have picked a sandwich with platforms. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, give me, like... Imagine Dream Lampy's takeaway top plat. <laughs> yeah. Like, God bless that. That, well... In the ideal Fox world, it's the like upside down battlefield from um, the adventure mode. It's like <laughs> smaller than Yoshi's somehow. Yeah. yeah. Man. What's Kuneria? Bring back Kuneria. Please. Oh, uh, the, what's that? Um, that one Kirby stage. Uh, green, green greens? Greens, yeah. I'm just picturing like. Hey, the bombs are there. It's fair and balanced. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're probably going back. We went back to FD last time they played. Uh, was, yeah. yeah. Sounds about right. Brad was two up. On game three, McLeod won. Will he do it again? Well, Who he's, knows? you got to think it's either that or go to... Um, Fod, right? Fod, yeah. Well, he did pretty well on Fod. Oh, grab. Okay. Yeah, well. I was about to say. Oh, no. You only get so many grabs. You can't be... You can't be floating it. <laughs> Well, you get one. I mean, he took his jump. It was fine. Yeah, I guess well, he killed him. Oh. It's like when Fox goes for up smash in the duo here. It's like, oh no, he's not chain grabbing. He didn't kill him. And then the other Fox can't land anyway. Yeah. Just kind of gets, <laughs> just kinda gets the combo. Like, hits him with a couple of, like, hits him with a back throw or two and hits an edge guard. It's like, okay, yeah, I guess. Look, up smash is better than trying to do, you know, it's better than a messed up option, but you know. Yeah, it's still a 20% and, and a tech chase. Yeah, like, that's well, the thing people forget. We, yeah, it's like it's if you can hit two tech chases with Fox, you don't need the chain grab. It's quite good if you like, if you're nervous and you can hit the tech chase. Um, it's those percents where when they're like 60 or 70, where it just doesn't. Yeah, that that pops them really up. Good they can land. 
Yeah. He kind of goes point. out there and puts himself right in all the spots for our on Star B. Mm. Fisher can edge guard. What is this? Not an SA. Not an SA. We don't have... Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> the pivot F tilt. Oh my <laughs> god, that was a combo and a half. Jesus. Brad kind of just nods. He's like, yeah. He's like, all right. Yes, he didn't need to chain grab me here. Yeah, I think this stock is important for Brad to take to just kind of stop the momentum going into game four. Like, it shouldn't matter too much because he should just, you know, take it to stay in the win. But yeah, I know. If I'm Brad at this point, I'm thinking to myself, all right, you messed up a bunch. Yeah, you know, let's take. Um, just take the stock. Take. Uh, pick um, a good stage and yeah. win 3 1. Brad might be thinking, well, if I just don't get hit for two stocks. Yeah, that And I'll smash a bunch. Alright, uh, boys. Well, yeah. Well, oh, that's such a bad feeling. It's like, I'm free. Oh, I'm free. Oh. <laughs> Particularly if you buffer something expecting them to hit it. Okay, so oh, yeah. <laughs> McLeod at this point has just given up on up throw and. It's now just f -ring. Um I don't know. I would... I think up throw Nair is still true at like that percent. Oh, so this is... Yeah. You know... Yeah, up throw Nair is definitely a good combo to be pulling out at this juncture. Mm. Oh, that's... Yeah. yeah. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't work. I'm not sure if that was just him messing up the... Um, Might have also been the like extra percent from the... Doesn't matter. Really like yeah. this point. Oh, four yeah. throw is bound to happen sooner or later. Yeah. Peach telling everyone this is fun. McLeod's face. Hey. It's not fit. <laughs> yeah, this is not. Not it. saying that this has been a fun set for no. all involved so far. He's closing his eyes, taking a deep breath. He's going to stadium. Up smashes. Actually, also like up smashes isn't going to kill like that much earlier than um, FD. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. FD is like stage is scary. The big thing is just it has all like the downsides of FD, but yeah. um, with out no, the chain grab. No, none of the chain grab and somehow more space for Fox to run. And occasionally Fox gets the wall. Yeah, sometimes you get what, the fire transformation and you just Or the rock. Beat. Or the rock, yeah. Yeah, when Fox is on the side of the rock and like, it doesn't matter whether you hit him, he's just going to bounce off in tech. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah, such yeah. a bad feeling, especially when he's at like high percent. You gotta move to like 140, the tree comes out, and you're just like, oh, here we go. Yeah, to be honest, I don't like that's the like one time where I don't blame Hbox for like playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna plank that out, you know? Like, I think it's the sort of thing where if there wasn't the bottom bit, he'd probably try to go under the stage and get <laughs> on the other side of the yeah. tree. Oh. Like, I don't, yeah. Like, you can't really blame him for planking there. Like, you, you know, if Mute King was still playing at this point and there was money on the line, he'd be. Sitting on the ledge, forward airing and up being and shit. Hey, Mewtwo King's face, he's back. Sort of. He's entered like two tournaments. Well, that's <laughs> sweet. Well, <laughs> when you're fresh out of college and you have got nothing for your resume. Genesis 33rd. <laughs> <laughs> nothing else. Uh, hey man, he's our like hope and savior against, um, well one of our hope well, and yeah, saviors against like, Hbox right now. Yeah, he's against Hbox at the moment, which yeah. is like... That's big. That's really impressive for a guy that hasn't played for nine months. Imagine how many sets PPMD will win. Mm. I really like that reverse, that like strong reverse bear there, because um, it was definitely mixing. Like uh, Brad was not expecting at all to have to tech, so oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just mixes up, mixes them up, and yeah, I'm, I'm guessing he was expecting something like a nair. Probably. What's he gonna do? He's gonna miss wave land. That's a big thing, like, Brad was in the corner a bit before, and then just goes to side plat, jumps over. Yeah. Um, Can't really do that on FD. No. Ah, Escape these... options are reasonably limited there. I think the problem here is that, like, McLeod is trying to do, like, float Nair. I'm pretty sure you can just, like, dash full hop Nair. And it's not like you need to, like... You, you'll save some frames if you had done a float Nair as opposed to, like, a full hop Nair, but it doesn't matter, because you're not comboing. Yeah, they got, the goal is to get the hit. It doesn't yeah, matter. Like, oh. Alright, right, how are we getting out of this corner? No, we're not, because... The Fox is just... Uh, oh, this could be huge. Good way. Yeah, that's a big combo. That's 60% Brad didn't need. 
Right, Ron so McLeod needed though, and now he's back in it. Now he's rock. We got the safety rock. That was smart from McLeod, yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, he, oh uh, yeah, the thing is. I'm Good. Yeah. Good. He's actually. Oh no, oh. yeah. That's the thing. You get pushed back very slightly. Yeah, yeah. So you just gotta, like, every fourth one go forward slightly, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Or you like, just, like. That's, wait, that's the wait. thing. I don't think Brad's ever gone for it for that in his life prior to this. Oh no. So, no. Yeah, McLeod's not happy about it. Um, he's probably not actually gone for the full just shine infinite in his life because if you're playing friendlies, you obviously go for something more difficult to try to practice it. But you gotta practice that like once or twice to make sure you can hit it, right? I, yeah. And that's when you see the like top level foxes like Leffen. Yep. Leffen's doing the like um Wait, he the, uh, to lose not winners anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. we're right. Yeah. Um Leffen's doing the like laser one, which is obviously more difficult, but you can tell he's practiced it a hell of a lot more. Mm. And so it was nice to see Brad just go for the thing that's guaranteed, even though, you know. He could probably do something much more technical. It's like, hey, this is a 2-1 set and I have a chance to win it right now. Let me take that fucking win. Oh, no. Uh, let's not do that. We, uh... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Nags. There's so many nags. All right, we found, found them. <laughs> I'm guessing this is... Oh, yep. Yep. Yeah. Gotta think. Catherine is PhD. Alright, I guess I'm solo coming for a bit. Should probably put in scores, hey, or like the rest of the bracket. But I don't think anyone else has been on that. Alright, now playing Peach Samus. Everyone celebrate now. Ooh, that shield broke was nasty. Assume that Caleb McLeod was too hard. I don't think anyone. Let's go with that. Alright, so I think last time they played this matchup, Catherine won a game three set. So, it'll be interesting now they got the best of five going. Let's see what. Up happening. Uh, Catherine's got a big lead, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's the right thing to do. Catherine wasn't ready for it, and kind of just have to deal with that one. Up air idea. Oh, he drifts forwards. No. Just hit the knee, you fool. Unfortunately, up being damn near everything, so. It's time to come back. Actually, uh, for the start that Catherine had, she needs to get a hit. It's a very one sided. Right now. Also, if Ruby could scar jump. They come in real handy against the Peach floating at the heights Catherine's currently doing to recover. Yeah, you gotta up air that. You know Peach is gonna mix up coming down with down air, nothing. Yeah, you're really good. 
Peach is the sort of character you just gotta keep it simple with. Like, take your free hits when you get your free hits, because, like, if you can put her in a bad spot, she can't get out of it very easily. So, if you could just keep doing it. Yeah. Good gentleman. Honestly, he's shocked that he can hit gentlemen somewhat consistently. I don't know why. I don't think it's that hard of a tech, it's just the fact that he doesn't main Falcon that it surprises me. Alright, what have we got? Yeah. Yeah, good DI mix up there from Catherine. Good DI DIing out on everything so far. Yeah, in spots like that, he really needs to just up air. Like, if he's gonna die to the up air, he might as well go for it. Yeah. yeah. That was one too many DINs. Yeah, you can react to the up B, but if you uh, down throw knee, but if you're not used to the other guy DIing in then out then in then out, it is reasonably difficult. Like obviously at top level you don't even notice it, but at mid level it's kind of important. Alright, Kazakhstan takes game one. Interesting. So I'm assuming that everyone's gonna, yeah, just go to stadium and try to win game two. I don't know, I, I get the feeling Ruben just needs to sit down on a setup with Quetz for eight hours and just figure out what he's doing wrong against this character. Because it doesn't seem to matter which Peach at the moment he ends up playing. Just way worse at it, yeah. Catherine did the right drift there. Recognize she got up aired last time, drifts back, gets an air for it. Still loses the stock, but not related to previous mistakes. Good to see her learning from... Uh, Alright, yeah, that was a really good up air. Oh, went for it again. Interesting. Yeah, Peach is a wall of hitboxes, and therefore Side B never hits her. Also, hard to get her to grounded in a spot where you can Side B her as a tech chase, so. Yeah, you do not want to be doing that against Peach. Good tech, though. He knew what he had to do. Get grabbed. <laughs> the biggest buck grab I've ever seen in my life. It was just the fact that Peach was so ready to forward throw him afterwards. Yeah, bad drift. You gotta. You can't just go at Falcon like that. He's going to need you for it. Or up air. Or do something. That's it. You can't really do a whole lot about it. Peach. Watch up tilt from Peach, I never thought I'd say that. So that the Cloud Peach combo game three against Rabbit is good, so. Alright, yeah, down. Down throw knee definitely kills people. That might have been a percent where it was just better to hold in and hope the dude doesn't get the reverse. Because I think she might have lived otherwise. It's like such a hard thing to know in the moment. To like tell yourself, hey, get need here. Yeah, Toad is not a good move. Parasol on the other hand, is a very good move. When it comes to recovering. Good forward tilt. Watch his edge guard though. Pretty sure that was a grab ledge and then 50 50 back air mix up. Sort of spot. Actually, at that height, it might have just been, yeah. Pretty sure he could just back air those for free and there's no amount of drift and up B angle. Hang on, why not? Peach can do there. Gotta go from higher, I think, to really force a mix up. Alright, we got a FOD. Stance the reason. Captain's getting jade. Yeah, 
highly recommend looking up the trailer for Don't Get Jade if you just want to watch a man get stomped a bunch. And if you can put up with American History X. That was good up air timing. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I don't know what he was going for there. Because he threw out knee as well, which wouldn't have done anything to get him. So I don't know what was going on. I guess he wanted to back air. Or like double jump back air. He obviously wanted to double jump. Alright, platform. That was a really good up air from Gats. It's just a shame that it pushed him off the platform. I guess the double jump land down smash would have been the, the play then. Try to punish him for falling off the platform. Yeah, Nene. Nee. Can't be stopped. Alright. Okay. Back and forth we go. Yeah, back here. Even game again. You can't jab reset Peach like that. They get to just hold it up on this gray stick and get out. Actually, I don't even know if they have to do that. I don't know what Ruben's doing there. And needs to know how to learn how to recover. He's hitting the buttons and up at the same time. All right, Catherine's got in a really good spot here. He gets out, but he comes quick, 44, and he's back in. Uh, is that going to do it? Yeah. All right, Catherine takes game three. Interesting. Catherine, one game away from taking the set. Right. Where are we going? Battlefield's a good choice. I feel like Dreamland seems counterintuitive, but like the way he's getting knees at 100, it'd be fine. He wanted to do it. Man, did he want to do it. Probably could have neared or up end there and been fine. Yeah. Oh, it faded. Thought you were going to get need and therefore die anyway. Yeah. Follow up. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Just because I don't know how that would have interacted had he get up attack. If that beats get up attack, it's a good option, but otherwise it's pretty inferior to double jump landing on the platform. Ruin really likes the near. Uh, let's up near with Falcon. I don't know how I feel about it. Feels like it should be getting punished more than it is, but at the same time, I'm like, what else is Falcon supposed to do? Yeah, uh, uh, that's not gonna kill, but he's fairly close, yeah. I like the idea from Ribbon there, he just didn't commit to it hard enough, which is like a hard mindset to get into. Particularly coming from Samus, it's like probably the biggest difference is the way they edge guard. Like, Samus just doesn't go off stage, she sits there and she up tilts and forward tilt stuff and shoots missiles and whatnot. Falcon just goes out there. Falcon, if you want to die dead, you have to go out there and hit him. So like, it's understandable why he's like not as comfortable committing to offstage options. Back, yeah. Yeah, that's the sort of stuff you do against Peach a lot more. Is bait like you're going to go for something and then drift back and waste your float. Oh, that so, sucks so bad. Catherine's all over him this stuff. God damn. Just like, has his timing unlocked. Yeah, 
Yeah. Got an air dodging way too high. Alright, yeah. Ruben needs a big combo. And he's gonna get an air hit. It's not a big combo. Uh, that sucks. I think he's gonna get grabbed and then he get hit for trying to do the thing that beats that. Even though they did try to grab you. What's he got? Yeah. Kevin just kind of waited for that. Makes sense. Like, that also covers the nair from the ledge, so it's like, why would you not? Up air. I hope he was. Sometimes fucking up air just gets clipped like that. Yeah, that's a good back air. There you go. Alright, so Ruben's still in this. He just needs one good hit and it's an even game. So Catherine does not look like she's going to just lie down and give him an easy hit. Yep, good recovery. Oh yeah, you can't be doing that against Peach. You gotta know. Push there. Right. Oh no, drops it. And now they're both scared. Yeah, good up air. Are you gonna get this? Dropped it, but it's fine. Yeah, good up air. Back on it. Oh, nah, but he doesn't get the second hit, so still play neutral. What's he got? Oh! And Catherine wins. I don't think she would have died there, but she might have. Big DBZ to win the set. Damn. Okay. That's an upset. Ruben really needs to find something for Peach. Oh, goddamn. Alright, so I assume we got Musket versus uh, Kai now. Uh, yeah. Uh, Brad. Oh, at the rematch? Yeah, yeah. So that's next. It's on stream? Yeah, it's after this one. Alright, from one musket to another. Why did I put musket twice? I'm an idiot. Kind of Survival. So what do you think of Ruben's inability to beat Peach? Um, oh, well, you know, how long has he been playing Falcon for in the matchup? Uh, in the matchup? Yeah. I don't know. Like, he's never beaten you in that matchup. Like, he's played you a couple of times and keeps yeah. losing it. Yeah. He's Moscow. I wonder how he goes against the Cloud. Mm. Well, like, the thing is, in Falcon Peach, right, it can it can sway so much at one point. Yeah, it felt like every time he, like, tried to kill you, like, at zero, mm. he'd get you to, like, 50, and then he'd ja try to jab reset at you, and you're just out, and it's like, okay, yeah, he's yeah. doing the f spacey combos again. Yeah. So. I don't know, I, I think that he should just uh, keep using his Samus, or... Unknown. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to say. Yeah. Like, it's weird when it's like a character specific problem. Yeah. It's not even like floaties, because he's taken sets off Nick's puff with Santa. So yeah. it's like, and that matchup sucks. Nick. You can't grab because you get rested. Oh. Wait, does the, the Samus grab not um, reach Crouching Puff? Or? Nope. Oh, and even if it did and you just miss grab, you still get. 
to get rested. Like, you can't just go for grab and like miss space it sort of thing like oh. you can with other characters. Certainly, it's just um, I'm just imagining trying to go grab and then the cuff crouches and you feel very sad. Yeah, it's not a good one. Yeah. At least I assume that's how it works. I'm pretty sure that's one of the characters. That was a big SDI out of the jab reset there for Kai. Yeah. So that's huge. Uh, he was getting grabbed otherwise. Yeah. All of a sudden he gets 70%. Yeah, and then probably off stage or at the very least he's being sharked down. I wonder why he went for down out there. He probably could have neared or something and tried to keep the combo and slash get him off stage. I feel like um, this isn't just a Kai specific. This is probably too many people, including myself, but when going for the up air, instead, instead of doing that, just um, wait for them to try and do something while they're coming down. Yeah, a little bit. Like, uh, it's definitely times to go for the up air, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah musket. Classic, only double shines if the other guy's near ledge. Yeah. I mean, it works when they don't hit him. Yeah, well, it works when they don't know that's exactly when he's going to do the whole shine. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know... Oh, no. So Kai gets the stock, he gets away from the yeah. invincibility as well. Mm. Honestly, Anthony's been doing double shines, at least against me in friendly, so um, on my shield. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's not a good sign. Uh, I like that laser. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. That was a really good chance to to get around that laser. Yeah. Well, that's some yeah. good edge guarding. Kai just kind of covers everything. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, he's oh, going again. Oh, no. When you get shined as Fox against Falco, you know you're taking, like, too much percent. You, you definitely take it 60. Yeah. Especially on, like, FP. You can it was just, just like, he was at 30 and he got, like, back air forward smashed off stage. It's yeah. like, okay, as you do. Yeah. Yeah. Happens. Kai's been looking pretty damn good recently in this matchup as well. Despite what he will tell you about the matchup, so you know. I, in the ma I'd say the matchup, especially at our level, is even. Yeah, like it's even at virtually all levels except for top, and even then it's like, well. Not that. Like. Top statement. Yeah, it's. You definitely watch Mango beat all the top boxes, and it's like, ah, yeah. not looking that unwinnable anymore. Yeah. Like, we're not the level where we're consistently power shooting lasers at all. Like, we're definitely not that. Yeah. And even then, that's like... The mix-ups you can do there. Like, yeah. pretend like you're going to shoot the laser and then don't. Yeah. Uh, there's still levels on levels of mix-ups that one you can go for. It's just like, all the guaranteed stuff becomes a lot less guaranteed. Darker players are like, well, they get guaranteed stuff. This matchup sucks. Yeah. I mean, Fox also has guaranteed yeah. stuff. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Fox has guaranteed stuff. Falco doesn't at top level. Oh, really? Well, it's like he doesn't get any big guaranteed stuff. Like, you don't get a chain grab. And, like, your FD combos are like, well, they could SDI out of them. Oh, and, like, at top level, they kind of do. But at the same time, they kind of don't. So That's hard. That's, um, that's a human error thing. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. He must be going straight back after getting two stuff. Oh. Reasonably convincingly. He, l he likes FD, and if he can chain grab... Yeah, well, that's the thing. He only got one grab. He dropped it last game, so... Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I guess, um... I guess he just needs to have a better neutral this game. Well, yeah, it's going to get a couple grabs. Yeah. So, like, a fox that's not getting grabs should not go to FD. Yeah. We'll, so just we'll see what happens, but... Uh, you we'll may see. regret this. Well, if you were a fox that couldn't chain grab that well, what stage would you go to in this matchup? Uh, probably Dreamland. Yeah? Probably more space to like run around the lasers. Well, oh. not at Dreamland. Um, Yoshi's. Oh. Like, you go to Dreamland if you're the Falco. You go to Yoshi's, so you can't shoot the gun. No. Oh. Got to fight you head on. We might see Yoshi's game. Like if he loses. That was he loses such again. an interesting double shine to get hit by. Oh damn! This is a brutal game so far. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright. There we go. It's not... Yeah, it I, th I think Musket needs to take a stock just for himself to be like, okay. Yeah. You can't be the only one that takes stocks off you. Mm. Off me. Oh, off you, I mean. <laughs> God damn. Because, uh, yeah, so far Musket scores 33% this game. Yeah. Like, 
You're better than this, come on. Whoa, yeah. very tired. Jesus. Except for Cam. With the eye. He's less tired. <laughs> Nearly got the upper. I mean, up tilt. Alright, yeah. Let's get the knockdown. There we go, yeah. yeah. You knew this. Yep. Yeah. Too close. Alright, yeah. Yeah, must get needed that. Mm. Still, Kai is um, in a comfortable position for this game. Oh, 100 percent, yeah. Like it can, like. it can swing. Like Musket can. Well, yeah, that's the thing. If Musket gets a grab, all of a sudden, yeah. yeah. But this, then that happens. Like, yeah, if he had hit the chain grab, whether or not he wins the game, he's at least got the confidence going yeah. into the next one. Whereas now he's, you know, siping yeah. off it, 100 yeah. percent, going, man, do I go back? Do I not? So do you think he's going to go back? I hope he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say. Like, just because he didn't get any chain meaningful yeah. chain grabs. Like, like if he was getting the knockdowns and you know Kai was just winning neutral more, it's like, well, roll the dice, try to yeah. win a couple more neutrals. But when you're getting grabs at like 70% as opposed to 20, yeah. you might as well just try to kill them at that point. Which will happen on this stage, so... Yeah, that up be a height from Kai uh, once again, and yeah, Randall's not gonna come out mm. soon enough. It's hard though, like, if you go lower, yeah, the Fox like, has time to, like, It's more the fact that, like, once Fox goes to ledge, you're like, oh, I should have side beaten. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the thing, it's like, as soon as Fox is in that position, it's like, oh, I've already messed up. Yeah, you're pretty much always dead. Yeah. Or, see, that height, it's like, fine. Yeah. Uh, that yeah, was must, interesting. Yeah, must get drop and stuff. But <laughs> oh, clutch power shield, if ever I've seen one. I wonder if Yoshi's slant had anything to do with that. Probably not. Probably more just the height guy down there. Not been a good set for him. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was yeah, good to grab. see. Yeah. Really good to see those. Uh, I know, I'm a big fan of Shine Grab. Right, good tech, but yeah. yeah. You gotta side B or A dodge immediately, like, you can't yeah. just sit around. It's hard. I know, I know in his own words that, like, he sells hard because if you mess up, you die, and I understand Yeah, that. there we go. I, I feel like Muskets needed that all set to just settle the nerf, just, like, get the yeah. big, like, guaranteed stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, he, he had to know. Oh. That's really good with his platform sometimes. Like. Yeah, like his platform movement's real good, but yeah. platform follow-ups are not as good. They, like, not so much that they get in his way, as much as it's just a lot easier for Falco if they're not there. Oh. Stuff like that really, like, makes it hard. I mean, he's still doing them. Yeah, yeah, like, he's obviously fairly good at it. Yeah. It's not a Kai problem as much as it's a Falco problem. Well, I guess that's most characters, right? Like, Fox is the same. Fox is way better without the platforms. Hmm. Peach is. What else we got? Like, Cheek kind of isn't, but that's more or less because, like, the platforms are also used for tech chasing. And also that Cheek needs platforms for Yeah, ability. you definitely need the platforms to get around. Yeah. So now that we got a set going, this game's gonna be very telling as to like I how the rest of the tournament is probably gonna go. Actually, <laughs> I think if Anthony wins this game, he has a great chance of winning the set. Yeah, yeah. But if he loses this, then ugh. I don't like his odds of winning two sets yeah. in a row. That said, it will be later in the night, so uh, I mean, it's we'll be nice and hungry by that point. It's later in the night for both spacey players, so. I'm not sure if that's going to help him as much as going to hurt him. Up and up the top. Interesting. I mean, it killed. Yeah, I didn't expect it to kill at 130, but he was that high that yeah. he almost definitely should have. Oh, double lasers. Right, yeah, double lasers, not good, but he fast falls so that he doesn't get shined off without a double jump. It was more so like how close. Yeah, like yeah. Anthony was, yeah. Yeah, like, it like makes he, sense. Could, he could have shined or something. Well, he did shine, and it was just Literally? like, yeah. I but because Kai fast fell, oh, okay, yeah. then he got to, like, land on 
stage before he got knocked off. Oh. So he didn't immediately lose the stock. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's huge. Guy, yeah. yeah. Guy up by two. Must be getting desperate. Yeah, you can you can tell he's more until here. Yeah. I kind of like that up air, just the wrong time to do it, unfortunately. It was much better off just waiting a half second and grabbing the ledge. That was an interesting neutral they had just then. Yeah. It's more like they want, they both want to go in, but yeah. they want to commit. Uh, yeah, that was huge for Musket. If he had hit that power shield and got nothing for it, the set was over. But oh, yeah. Now it's like, well, he could get a shine spike and yeah. be straight back in it. I mean... Oh, that connected? Uh. God damn. Yeah, that's rough. Look, oh. That's the cool up beat, right, yeah. Jack? I mean, it, it's cool because he went so far. That's the first Falcon's ever gone. Ooh. I also hate that feeling of like waiting for the spot dodge and then they roll and it's like, ah, I was not ready for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is... Yeah, back it, back it. Yeah. Just clean it up. Yeah. This isn't the worst spot for him, honestly. No, it's not, but he probably... He needs to be he needs either a godlike stock or one just, like, shine Shun spike. Yeah. He needs one or the other right now. And Kai's not just going to give him one of them. Yeah. Like, the shine spike, you'd think. But... Not this, not this early in the night. Yeah, spot not shine. Yeah. I think mean, Kai could SD as well. I feel like that was the one time where Musket had to just run up double shine, catch the spot dodge, and like get him off stage. All right, good I chill poke, yeah. Oh. All right, good ledge dash from Kai, honestly, to just go for it up inside me. Like no refreshes, nothing. Just... Yeah. I was um when yeah. he did the. Sh I yeah. believe for Sean, but I feel like he should have tried to put out right. the hitbox. This is big. Musket wins this. I don't know if Kai can win the set. Yeah. Just from how far up. Oh, yes, but the shine. It's unbeatable. Oh, broken. Oh. Yeah, Kai. Definitely gonna check in there. Right, it must a... be your back. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. that's a roll up. Alright. Let's get almost a step back. So you said I had um Yeah, you got Brad. Salty run back? Yep. Yeah. There is no Pikachu playing, unfortunately. No one is stupid enough to do that here. We like our pairs doing more than three percent. Because God knows they're gonna be stale. Well, it's not an FD day today. It was Damn. almost a Reverse three stock day though. Damn, I'm gonna have to ban FD at least today until I work on my chain grabs again. Yeah, you know, That's there's gonna be so many bannings happening. I mean, strike. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, who's Catherine? That's unf I mean, there's deep, like, it's not that big of a deal going to. What would I ban? Like, I guess we go Battlefield again. Yeah, you go uh, Battlefield yeah. or something like Um. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. I was like messing up like the FD games particularly. Right, it's like the chat spoken, you you're playing Pikachu and Grants. Uh, uh, I don't know, it's Davin and Brad dude. Uh, no, no, no. Why don't you go Pikachu? Yeah, he's always So we've got the rematch. Oh wait, are you commentating or are you? Oh, yeah. <coughs> I think Catherine <coughs> I think Catherine got two out last time, but um I think both games are reasonably close. So Unfortunately for Catherine, Brad has had quite the peach warm up day, so Are you going through then? No, uh, that's a, that's butt check. Look at how many buttons they check. B, A, C, Look. stick. 
of those faces. Now, Catherine is someone that does look, um, when she plays, definitely does look um, focused. The game is just to, like, see how low she tilts her head down while she's playing. Oh, yeah. It gets really low at certain points, like, <laughs> her set against uh, Black Shadow. There was one point where it's just, like, full down and she just has this, like, death glare on. She looks like, um, that's from me. Oh, anyway. Um. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing? Those are semis. Yeah. I don't know why I bother capitalizing stuff. I know it doesn't. It always gets all caps. Oh, you're right. Oh, the next oh no. Oh, yeah. no. You did everything. Okay, it was rats. Classic like, you know musket edge guard. Hey, Mike, I would have hit that. Uh, I don't know, man. I would have hit that one. Do I need to bust out the footage? I mean, 2015 me wouldn't have hit it, but when it's when they're at the point where, like, Grab it. Like, Wix, yeah. it it's out, it's yeah. only Falcon. It's only Falcon nowadays, and I'm just like, hey, I can just down it anyway, and then they inevitably SDI down or up and get the hell out of that. Yeah. Yeah. If there's one character where you're like, they won't get out of a bad situation, but they do, it's probably Falcon. Usually because they've been there 10 million times more than every other character. Mm. Oh, now up smash. The floaty, or well, the weak now up smash. The floaty killer. And the, I mean, it kills everyone. <laughs> it's, it's unbeatable. Unless you crash cancel it. Yeah. Well, you gotta know Peach is gonna do that. That's like classic time to up tilt and just like. Because what's she gonna do? She can't fall through the platform with Nair. Yeah. She's, um. She just wants that Nair. She wants that, like, re hit. Yeah. Oh, Catherine would you know, get out, like, a backhand time. Or potentially even down smash there. Like, down smash Brad when he's, like, right. Yeah, when yeah, he yeah. fell off and he's coming back up. And yeah, with the platform being down the way it was, it went big damage. I think Catherine's over and up smash, yeah. Catherine's doing a like really good job of like stuffing out these approaches by Brad with like Bear. She's just landing these okay, another really bad DI, but well, it was a good DI to get to ledge faster. That's true. Catherine will not cover ledge in that spot all ever, so. He's just speeding he knows we're on a time limit. It's like if Man, if Musket wins that set against Kai, man, are we gonna be waiting for ages to get food? To be it's fair, like, like, speed it up. From like the Peach, pers like from the Peach perspe oh, wow. perspective, there, it's if you're like far away, it's like actually quite tricky to like hit the side sweet spot side B with a turner. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that jumped as well. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's game one. All right. Well, let's can't be jumping like that. I wonder if we're going back or if we're just going to a uh, theme. Brad paying, playing like he wants the $4. Cool. <laughs> I think um, Catherine's not as big of a... Like, she's a competent enough chain grab, but it's not even... I think she just doesn't like the arm space as much compared to Fountain against Fox, but she's lost three straight games against Fox and Fod, so why change it up? Right. They've been all close. It's They've not the stage that's... Close. Yeah. It's not really the stage that's, like, killing her. It's, I want to see sketch cards. <laughs> you wouldn't know anything about that, though, would you? Hey, man. You know, ca catch me. Um. Yeah, I, I, I still play against Fox, sort of. Against Ruben's Fox. With Peach. Um, oh, he managed to punish the get-up attack above 100%. Insane. We should be more concerned about the fact that that peach up umbrella went straight through it. <laughs> right, how? Wow. As she gets up, peach on the ledge above, especially above 100, is just like, it's so bad. Every option just. Like. Especially once um, they start punishing tournament winner. Because tournament winner above 100. wait so long for that one? I don't know. Oh, yeah, she's done. Yeah. It'll be slightly faster than that. A man can peach not do fast than that spot. On the other hand, Fox back as you and you stay dead. Oh god, I, just, I, I didn't notice until Nick mentioned it. That is that quite is, the face. Yeah. Yeah. 
You'd hardly believe they were sitting next to each other. I know. <laughs> I kind of want to hit the, like, player cam button just to, like, show the difference, because that is, yeah. Right. Takes minimal damage, closing it out. <laughs> it's taking a lot now, but... <laughs> yeah. That's one of those rough ones. I feel like Brad's biggest strength against floaties is somehow he finds a way of nearing you at, like, 30 and you're not crouch cancelling, so he just gets to keep nearing you, just like, man, why am I taking any of these hits? Why am I here? Yeah. Why am I not why? just, like, holding down and down smashing the ever shit out of him? Oh, no. Okay, right. so that's the plan. That's, yeah. that's the plan for edge guards uh, that's, with that's the best musket edge guard it can be. The other guy died, and therefore it's good. But no DI. Absolutely no DI on the up row. Yeah, you'd think that that would be one of the percents where you just like DI to one side and you don't die regardless. Yep, it definitely is. You can just DI, but you can DI behind. If you won't. It's not true. Oh, that. That's why she keeps going. Oh, about. she lost a jump. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Fox can also cause you to want to die very quickly. She had to immediately up B. Yeah. Get to like. She had to know as well. Yeah. No, yeah. That's, that's the big, big thing. thing. Yeah. Like, you gotta actually. You're like, okay, I don't have a jump. Oh, she's in the corner. This is really bad. Yeah, and yet, had she down smashed the forward air, oh, it would have been a, a tie game. She's got a stitch. She's gonna, she's gonna. She's gonna get chill poked. Oh, this. Oh, oh this it's huge. Spot does a shine grab. It's unbeatable. It's a. Oh, that's not. I oh, can't both believe that. Out of range. They're both just hitting the sticks. Peach is so good at hitting I think sticks. Peach but okay, now Peach dies. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I was going to say up smash, but up for up also works. Um. Look, she needs two stitches next, you know, game three, and then probably. Maybe she just pulls a beam sword and marks it. <laughs> Fox, <laughs> Fox gets PTSD. Like not, not the sword, man. I'm just picturing feature of beam sword, just like dash dance camping in a way. Fox is just just traumatized and like runs over Nairs. <laughs> she just Z drop down smashes him, and he's like, oh god, uh, it's not getting grabbed. Oh, okay. Alright, Captain decides that she does not want to put out the bear. She is she a, does. She's a woman of honor, doesn't want to take those stocks. Um. <clears throat> I don't know if she's been watching the rest of this set. She kind of needs to take those stocks. Yeah. At the very least, let's see if she can get, not get shine spiked at 40 and die. So, the thing there, Catherine um, had the right idea of dash dancing, but she was like, dash dancing just too far outside the fox range, so she didn't really get Yeah, like, like you can't go in fast enough to yeah. actually, for your dash dance to get you anything. Yeah, and then in your mind, the only thing you can do is dash attack, which didn't even work anyway. Um, yeah, because they're too far away. Mm. I mean, it's tricky though, if you like dash dance a bit closer and fox overshoots a little bit, then... Yeah, then you... It's hard, you're a slow character. Um, oh, is that going to be... Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. And up smash might not have killed at that percent. Maybe. Not drop it. Yeah. Mm. Another clean up musket edge card. Yes. <laughs> Gotta be happy with oh, those. Oh, that's... That's not a spot you want to be in. No. No double jump, no float. And like, getting hit by up tilt. Yeah. Alright, she's like, The only solace is knowing that as long as you mash A, you won't get shined. Yeah. Like... Oh, she really needs this. You gotta go out there. No, you can't down out of the ledge like that. We can. You, you can, can, but that's what happens well, so not. often. It's like you're much better off just turning around and back airing it. And then, like, going off and trading the up B. Just kill yeah, him. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is pretty over. Yeah, it's not looking good. Catherine looking like she was not prepared to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, Brad um, needed to just shine that, but you know, I guess he had a few stocks to spare. Alright, so we got a uh, musket coming up. From one musket to another.
What's up, gamers? It's Kaiser holding it down now. How are we all doing tonight? This is going to be really interesting to see the run back of. I definitely won't be able to play Pikachu and Grands, guys. <laughs> I mean, that is not a matchup that's in the Kai repertoire. Now, I'm trying to work out like a good way to implement this. You know? But I haven't quite gotten it yet. I'm gonna go like this. I'm trying to line up a bit better. But yeah, nothing seems to really click for this, unfortunately. So, like, eh. Not the biggest deal in the world, but it was something I wanted to put in. Anyway, we are getting started. These guys are sitting very far, like, away from each other on the setup. Obviously, Musket's odds on here, but, um... I want to see what a warmed-up Brad can do. The, the big Scrad Daddy himself. Oh, no -y! Oh, man. That's upsetting. <laughs> That's upsetting to see. If, if you're a Brad friend like me, I just don't want it. Back air? Yeah. You want to like do it early back air, do it early auto cancel back air, and then a, another auto cancel back air on the stage. I, I saw what Brad was going, Scratchles was going for, but um, it just didn't tank. Oh, that should do it actually. Yeah. Must get with the SCI all the way out as well. Probably just assisted in that kill. Oh, Brad just wants these shield grabs, but he's getting them. The thing about Musket is that you can never give... Like, sometimes... Oh! Brad! Okay, he lives to, he lives to tell another tale. Um, yeah, like... The thing about playing against Musket's Fox is that some... Or any Fox, really, is that sometimes you just gotta shield grab them. Sometimes they're looking for that... That level 2 mix-up with the shine, when, when that's gonna come out. Oh, I like the angle from Brad. But Musket with the cleanest of coverages. Really nice for him, honestly. Oh. Unfortunate. But Brad might start trying to pull something out of the hat here. That'd be really good to see. Oh, Musket with the punish go. Go, 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 go. That's that. That's that. This game Ready? Go. There we go. <laughs> Oh, Brad can do this. All right. He's actually started the start pretty well. <coughs> now Mask has got him in the corner, but that was such a... Quite a reach on that shield grab, actually. It's all right. Musket's going to clean it up. 
What's up, everyone watching? If you want to chat, please hit us up with a follow. Alright, he just full hops. And full hops and he double jumps. The greatest fox tech known to man. I like the full hop Nair as well, actually. Uh, fox can cover a lot, especially catch really like big full hops out of shield from other foxes and Falcos with a really early Nair. And Brett's starting to realize that. Tries to cover tech in place there. It would have covered two things, but uh, Musket chose the one thing that he didn't cover. Oh, careful. Yeah, Musket's just not converting off of these shines on shields like he usually does. Usually when he gets a shine on shield, he feels very scared because he, uh, he's really like looking for that grab afterwards. And um, Oh, there we go. He's got some movement from Musket now. That's what you need in the Fox Theater. You actually need to play the movement. I like that drill from Musket as well. He's going to take the stock from like overshooting that. Musket's dash chance is actually starting to like develop into something beautiful. He's really only dashing away when he wants to. Say no to Fox. Say yes to Pikachu. I agree, Mark, but I don't think anyone else is going to be able to play it. Alright. Here we go. Brad's starting to get something happening. Instantly reversed, he missed up the follow-up there. See, I don't know. Musket, usually when he gets these opportunities at the ledge, he is double shining people to infinity. And beyond. But Scrattle sends him to the moon. And FD is the pick from Musket. He's hoping his punishers are going to carry him here. And it's 1-1, one, one, so this is actually a nice time to pull it out. Shine. Oh, yep, yep. Keeping it simple, but Scrattles actually gets a slide off there, so he gets back. Oh, just both really reaching with these grabs. We've got some spot dodges. But Musket's still kind of coming out on top here, and he waits for the... Oh, no, Musket, I think maybe he's having some controller issues, maybe. He seems really disappointed in how that turned out. He wanted a pivot up smash, obviously, but didn't happen for him. He's just really reaching for these grabs. Um, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if Brad's going to do anything about it. Oh, just coming out from the ledge with it up there like that. I've noticed Musket do that a few times lately, and honestly, it catches a lot of people out. All right, good damage for him so far. Scrattles just has not made, had a chance to really get anything started this game. It's all been the Musket show, and even when Musket's really just like whiffing and whiffing and whiffing, Brad's still not really getting much out of Musket flubs. Oh my god! You gotta make sure you're not like... You gotta make sure you have respectable follow-ups, guys. When you get higher and higher in level, People know already how to get out of like the bread and butter combos. So you gotta get creative. Ugh. This is a rough fox sitter to watch. Yeah, no, nah, he he's done with that one. Fair enough, brother. He knows that Musket feels like he's in total control there. Also, this isn't losing semis anymore, if I'm not mistaken. This is actually losing finals. So the winner of this plays me and Grant. Musket wants it. Going to Battlefield here. A lot of full hopping coming out from Scrattles. I'm liking it. He wanted an up smash there, but he got it up there, unfortunately. Oh, he does wait like a good amount of time at the ledge there. Oh, but the Armada Shine from Musket's going to do it. He's really clean on his edge guards now that the set's kind of progressed and the tournament's progressed. So you can't really be slipping when you're off stage against him or in the corner. Because look at this pressure. Brad's rolling. He's trying to jump out of shield. If he gets clipped by one of these shines, it's going to be another stock. So Brad's moving starting to pick up. Now Musket's the right one rolling. And spot dodging. There it is. If Scrattle can find a grab with these tech options that Musket's just spamming, he can turn it into something big. He's maintaining center. He gives it up a little bit to Musket. The one thing that I think Brad is really missing is really like fluid back and forth movement in this matchup. Being able to really just reactively move in relation to the other Fox, it's so important. 
Basuki obviously not making it easy, and just these little follow-ups that aren't really turning into it much as much as uh, what Basuki's turning them into. To be fair, it's hard to play this Ditto in it, SA. Like, these two foxes are probably the, the top end of the fox spectrum here at the moment. At least for solo mains. I mean, Musket's not a solo main anymore, really. He still does pop out the Peach. Ah! Oh, you cannot get too greedy. He's gonna make it back. Oh, okay, he goes super low there. Ah, oh, shine, bruh. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, Scrattles doesn't want to win this one that badly. <laughs> yep. Whereas Musket has the eye of the tiger. Oh, nice. I like the Nair, actually. And he sets up for an edge guard with it. He doesn't clean it up, but I like what Musket's doing because he's using his advantages to, like, basically highlight his strengths. And that is cleaning up stocks on an edge guard. Okay. Okay, catches him out of shield. Didn't expect him to get hit with that. Really fortunate for Musket. Oh, uh, if he followed up with a shine after that, could have been curtains for Scrattles. That said, Scrattles doing a lot better in these in this set than he was uh, in previous sets against Musket. Not only in the winners winners uh, racket set, but also in the previous tournament. But it's a bit rough. We'll see how well Scrattles can do next time these two meet. But that is it for his tournament life. He's going home with third. And it's time for the Beard Musket Grand Finals. A repeat of the last Cheese League. So I'm going to be hopping off and we will be competing. So Muskets and Losers. Uh, Alright, here we go. <laughs> uh, McLeod and Catherine here to give you. Oh, th thank you for saying that. You know, it's all year round. Maybe. Where are we going? Kaiser, Muscat. Oh, you've already got to set it up. You're a genius. I can't screw anything up. Uh, I already commentated um, the winner's version of this set, so. Muscat looking for revenge. What do you have to think? What do you think of it? Um. What insight can you glean? Okay, so when he was on the FD, both games, he wasn't getting grabs, and when he did get grabs, they weren't a full chain grab. There you go. Muscat just dropping everything. Yeah. Alright, he was, in my opinion, he was looking a bit shaky earlier, but we'll see if he can clean up. Muscat's a person who plays better the longer the tournament goes in general. Like, I find. He's just less hungry than Kai would be. Yeah. It's a fight over who's hungrier. But Kai knows if he wins this set, he gets to go home straight away. Well, Muska's like, oh, I have to win another set. So yeah. he's, like, he's like, is it worth it? Is it worth it to leave here at like 10.30? Probably not. Now, this isn't anything against him, for me, but if Kai wins, we get to eat True. earlier. So. so I'm definitely a Kai fan tonight. Yeah. I'd say the same thing if it was reversed. Yeah, I'm just unbiased commentary. Yeah. Uh. Ah, spacey mains. They're warm up. You mean they're not just down smashing? It makes me sad when I see that thing. Hey, I only do it for like three times and I actually do like float aerials. <laughs> Literally, look at any wall I believe you, I believe you. Us peaches. We have tech skill. Yeah, that's what I I can't do any of mine reliably, but I have it. I it's mean, there. At least you were float cancelling tonight. If you weren't float cancelling, I'd, I'd, it's very hard to not float cancel on Peach. I'm. There was a, a, yeah. At least against Scrows, I was like, I wasn't float cancelling half the time. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you were just like, how do you? I don't even know. Like it's. 
<laughs> I'd have to watch it back. Because that sounds very confusing to me. Alright, we're into game one. Oh. I like that 3%. Good start. Kai is winning the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, the DI mix up on the other half. I think I like single hit other half. That's not what you want to do. Oh. Oh. Definitely not what he intended. I assume. I like that skilled play from Anthony to take the stock there. It's the, definitely the Muzga drop. I was talking about it on commentary where you like you cover stage, so they go to ledge and fail ledge that you get a kill. Oh. That's the edge guard. Yeah. Oh, I have to try it against Brad. I was like watching you do the edge guard. I was like I was like trying to contest him, and I was shit, so I failed every time. So maybe if I just covered stage and watch some miss ledge dashes. Exactly. Get by on other people's flops. Probably a legitimate strategy. I mean, if you don't have time to, or you don't feel um, confident, yeah? yeah. One day I will be good. Not today, though. Guy pretty patient at getting out the corner, actually. Not good. He just gets hit and misses attack and gets sent to the moon. Laser, laser, dash back, no lasers. Anthony using the platform as well to avoid them, not really letting him get pressure. Waiting. Really interesting up smash, I assume he wanted up tilt. But it works out. Good jab. He was doing that in my center, he was getting CC down smash. Once you start realizing it, yeah. Oh, that's just the back he did to cover. Yeah. Was he saying that? Yeah, once, uh, at, like, he was doing the jabs. Um, he does them a lot, actually. Just, like, if he's out of range of shine, he will go for the jab. Like, I don't even think it's that good, because you can just CC hit it. Or, like, you, don't even, you just ACI it. So you can always ACI it, and you just react to whether he does it or not. But Anthony fell for it, so it was good. Oh, side B gets the knockdown. Anthony just waiting for him to stop lasering the corner. <laughs> Anthony looking pretty good this game. Yeah. Patience. I swear, if he, if he wins this set, I'm going to be very sad. Oh no, it's, it's happening. The it definitely could. <laughs> wow, uh, I'm not going to go to my center. <laughs> we'll have to wait to get greasy chicken on an absolute trip. Yeah. Our stomachs are rejoicing. Can't get bubble but tea. our hearts are not. <laughs> I think the bubble tea place is closed. Um, Unless there's one on Hanley Street, there, isn't it? Yeah, there's like one on Hanley Street. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, uh, the more you know. Hanley Street actually has some nice stuff there. The jab, jab, shine, shine, down. <laughs> ah, the beautiful boxing. Yeah. Looking for a shark, doesn't get it. Put it in a bad position, gets the back air, gets shielded. That was something. Yeah. Good job, Anthony. Oh, good job, Kai. Oh no, good job, Anthony. Oh, we shot the scores. Oh. Kai, we must go. Let's so. Let's go, Anthony. No, let's not go, Anthony. Let's go, Kai. Oh, that was a sick tech. Good reaction to the normal girl. Yeah, no. Let's go, Kai. Oh, that was a good shot back there. Resets the neutral. Hey, that was, um, I like, like those safe bears. Fade away. Yeah. I don't really get anything, unless you're taking space with them, which... I want to say, like, oh, it puts pressure on the fox. Yeah. So that he might do a dumb option out of shield. But it's important to, like, figure out... I think the thing with that is you have to figure out when to stop doing them. Because they're, like, they're only safe if you, your opponent's not reading them. Mm. And if they, if your opponent just slowly takes... If your opponent like realizes that you're just soft bearing and he just like take, goes to center, now you're bearing in the corner and yeah. the, like they have way more than soft. Good force match by Kai, even in it out after the 11% death. I think a big thing um, I noticed last time I watched these two was watch invincibility. Like... <laughs> I don't know about your end, but it, like behind me, it just sounded really weird. Like, yeah, we well, definitely have a, a little bit of a zoo going on in the background. Yeah. 
That's just the SA scene sometimes. It really is. Beautiful scene. Yeah. All eight of us. And Jack. <laughs> uh, I made top eight. I, made to I also. Caleb made top eight. He went 0 2. Oh, beast. Hear that? You can go 0 2 and make top eight. Here. <laughs> Get some top eights in your credentials as well. Oh, hey, even game. Whoop, shine, shine, misses the fuck one. Yeah. Oh, that's. Many shines, but Muscat figures a way out looking for the up tilt. Uh, uh, up air, up tilt. Too many shines in this matchup. It really is. Yes, this matchup is definitely big on who screws up less. Yeah. And uh, who can do the shine quicker. Out yeah. Of I think one of the most underrated things in this entire game is acting out of hit stun and like hitting people. Like just acting fast out of stuff. Oh, you mean the A button? I know that. <laughs> what about the down the C stick? That's an important one. <laughs> Not that. But yeah, I mean, like, like dashing back out of hit stun and oh. like doing shining, like all that stuff, jumping. Like just acting, like being aware that you got hit and being aware when you can act. Yeah, I don't know about I don't know about that life. <laughs> well, I'm sure. Well, you build up a um, like even if you're not really thinking about it, you definitely build it up from experience anyway. Yeah. Uh, so this is um the reversal last set. Yeah. Looks like Muscat, well, I mean, Kai's definitely just SD twice, and Muscat's one, like, one second. But Muscat's looking a lot cleaner as well. Yeah. He's getting grabs. Yeah. Yeah. Something you really need in the matchup. Oh, that was an amazing back air down air. Just like presence in there. Oh, up for up. Oh, no, that was... How do you miss tech on that? Uh. Grab ledge? No. He still made more interactions. Oh, held all the way in. But I guess if you got back air, you died too. Kai with his mouth right open. Closing the videos. I just love it when the Falco crouches before they shine. Falco chain grabs. Yeah. No, like oh, almost a zero to that. That was sick, that Kai. But can't quite finish it. Oh, and wait, how is that? Did he nair there? I have no idea what he did. Blow. It is a blow. This game is too fast. Slow it down. That's what I was supposed to say. You need a good ultimate. <laughs> oh, that game is so poo poo. Hey, jo Joker's fun. No, oh, there's definitely fun characters in the game. I play Link. Link looks cool. I want to do bomb stuff. I made Arson. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Imagine. <laughs> oh no, rolled it too early. Yeah. Good covering ledge. Good patience, good reactions. Kinda looking very good this game. If he could look good the next few games, that'd be cool. I mean it's roughly if Muscat wins this one, it's roughly the same amount of time. No, but like then we have then there's another set. Oh that's true. It depends if Muscat 3 goes the next set. Kai definitely could just die twice in this game. He's gonna win this game, then he's gonna lose like, wow. the next game. Muscat tried to react to the Tekken place with grab, didn't all that. Or maybe he tried dash back, I couldn't tell. That was a really good edge guard by Muscat. Double jabs, yeah. reacting there, you got them. Oh, the Phantom Shine, is that it? Oh, good reaction to the roll with the four tail. Oh, yeah, that was hella close. Yeah. Who do you think? <laughs> who do you think is coming away with the the W right now, Catherine? Um, in the game or set? Both. Uh, I think honestly, it can go either way for the game. I think um, having an empty wins this game. Is you reckon he's gonna win the next set? Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna feel better about it. He's gonna. Clean edge over, Kai. Getting on the board. Okay. Either win or lose. Win, win, win or lose fast. Yeah. Going to Yoshi's story. Muscat, yeah, Muscat loves playing around in stage. This is a cool stage. You know, it's small. Um, things die quickly to up smash. Yeah. 
Kai loves the platforms, though. Yeah. I think Kai loves, like, many platforms. Yeah, he really does. Watching Kai laser and then jump to a platform and then laser and then run around the platform and back air is really sad. And they call floaty is lame. Whoop, patience coming down, Muska. Too slow to react to go on the ledge. Lip. Lip. Lip, lip. Slapple commentary about the fact. Oh, oh, we just get, we just get the blip. Maybe we just blip whenever there's a shine for us to say. Lip. 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 <laughs> really good coverage by uh, my mascot. I'm not playing. Uh, I can blip and you can actually uh, yeah, so provide commentary. Yeah. You'll play, I'll play by play. Our version of play by play is just yeah. blipping when there's a shine. I love it. Let's go, Kai. <laughs> Very serious gaming going on right now by the top two players in this tournament, are they? Oh, look, look, it's an SA local. I don't it's think It's important. <laughs> Only two locals before Big Cheese. He's a. Uh... I don't even know what to say. This is a terrible idea, my me and I regret everything. I'm sorry. Should I get the big flip? You want that? <laughs> I just want to get the hair out of my face. <laughs> Ooh, ah, oh. Muscat. Didn't blip enough. Winning the first set, putting Kai into losers for the second set of grand finals. I need to blip more. What is this? Kai did not blip enough, indeed. Yeah. Okay. Um. So no matter who wins, we get to eat after. True. Now I am completely indifferent. Well, only five. only biased to whoever has the game count. So for this game, I am not biased at all. Let's go both players. I hate both players equally because now we're here. So at least it's not Ruben Silas versus Moscow Speech. That's all we can be thankful for. Ooh. Yeah. Clean. Can't really get anything off it though. I'm honestly surprised they went to fog. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I just, I've stopped trying to analyze their picks. It seems random to me. Other than Muscat picks, Muscat picks FD and Yoshi's, and Kai picks whatever the hell he wants. What's well, like, um, they both did a rock paper scissors and did a stage strike, right? Oh yeah, this is a stage strike, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's why I'm confused. So I assume Kai bans FD and Yoshi's. Yoshi's and Muscat bans Battlefield. Dreamland. Yeah, that's fair. I, I know, I feel like... Well, I guess it's Hero Dreamland, right? Because you don't... Want... I feel like I would prefer Dreamland. Yeah. He, he knows how to take control of stage. So this striking looking... Quite questionable for Muscat with this game so far. Yeah. But yeah. Fox can work on this stage, but... Yeah, definitely. I think Falco's amazing on this stage. Uh, I think it's very um, platform heavy. Yeah. I think it's great for Falcon, and he has like a lot of tools to just poke the platforms and then get on the platforms. I guess Fox does too. Yeah, but like, the, I feel like the platforms can definitely hinder it. Like, not just because they move, but also because... I guess they screw up your laser sometimes. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I like, they're not there sometimes, so it's almost FD. Let's yeah. get taking it back to two soccer piece. Yeah. In the corner, see how he gets out, just runs out. Good shine. Can't get anything off it. Ooh. Oh, I did not think that connect. Good That's choice, not... but if he edge guard dying in 9%. percent must get taking the lead from four stocks to two. Yeah. Good Waveland bear. Good oh. dare. Let's go, Kai. I'm, I feel like he didn't need to dare, but it's found so it's hard to judge. Yeah. I think it, it's... Because the fox gonna ride the, the wall up to get extra distance, it's like really hard to tell, so yeah. I think the devil's smart. And it was well time. Ooh, we 
reacts to... I don't think that was a reaction. Red's going in. Oh, let's go Kai, because... Let's go Kai now. Why couldn't you do this last set? Yeah. Huh? Why do you hate this Kai? <laughs> Alright. Star jumps. Star <laughs> Oh! Let's go! <laughs> Win, <Weird> Neil. <laughs> We're gonna have um, mid mid set workout. Uh, workout with the workout with Twitch chat. Yeah. Do SA locals. Drum ups from some of the water. Are you gonna do star jumps next time, Tommy? I'll do push ups. I reckon push ups. Uh, I have, what can I do on the camera? Probably yeah. Probably star jumps. We can both do star jumps. I can jump. do squats. There's a lot. There's, there's a lot to work with. Bless guy. Star jumps me and then beats me. Yeah. What a monster. He's just flexing on you at that point. It really is. How can I focus on this man just start on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. amazing follow up, oh, but it doesn't get the kill. That co op B. Good coverage. Easy kill. Good light shield resetting. What can he do off the ledge? He can turn it winner and die. Really be taught winning like that. You really can't. You can't do it as Pete, so you really can't do it as Spacey. Well, Peach, it's good sometimes. It's Spacey's is literally never good. If they're on point, it's not good. Like it's, it's, pro it's the best out of the options you got. But if they're on point, it's still not good. Oh yeah, well it depends what you condition them. So, like if you do a lot of um, like. You do a lot of the low double jump to like back like air dodge stuff. You can like get away with um. Uh, if you do it like the close or like you do up B to stay. Like if you do stuff that's close to the stage and then they're like covering close and then you do the double jump. Sometimes you can get it. Like even if you get far enough to where they hit you and you go to the other side of the stage. Well, it's like I. Um, both Fox and Marth, I'm pretty sure they can cover every ledge option and variation that Peach has. Yeah, the basic ones. No, even like, even like the more mix up stuff. Like the double jump stuff? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, that would just mean like literally every. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's hard. Like, maybe theoretically they can, but like, if you mix it up well enough. Yeah. Like, especially at this level. Yeah. Like, obviously, there's a lot of things that a character or character can cover, but it doesn't always happen because human error. I really clean movement by Kai, actually. Yeah, yeah okay. God damn it, Kai. You... Please. One piece of chicken. Oh. Ooh, waits the get up attack. That's really Does good. Does the up? I really don't like that up air to be honest. I mean, is it set up into anything? Uh, not if they hold out. Oh. And it doesn't send far enough. If they hold, if they hold it in, you get like the full thing. Oh. But generally, like especially like after that shine, they're holding all the way out. <laughs> There's a few things you can do. Oh, up throw back air to finish the game. Must cut evening it up. Three more games. Potentially up. Yeah. Kai counterpicking to FD. This is so. Maybe Muzcat banned FD? I don't know what's going on in the set anymore, to be honest. Oh, yeah, this is Kai's. Wait, Kai's so interesting. He'll like shield drop and he'll just like sit on the platforms on the platform stages and then he'll just pick FD. I mean, FD is. Um... I would argue it's great for both characters. Definitely more so Fox in my opinion. Oh, uh, I mean like, Falco can get some really, really big yeah. punishes. It's like how Fox can also get like, like a chain grab going, but you just need that initial hit. But at this level, I believe it's Ooh, easier for that, Falco to get the hit. That was really good option for him. Can't finish the edge goal though. And he got grabbed. Hey, okay, I was Aww. about to say he's not dropping them, but you know, he, he got the set. <laughs> Musk guy really wants his 24 hours. Don't we all want that? My many greasy chicken with 24 hours. Yeah.
patience by Kai. Muscat not biting the bait. Managed to get dash dance grabbed. I'll get dash dance grabbed. Good up tilt. Extending it. And... I like the oh, that air smash. You should have up smash. F smash definitely, um, like, you don't have to have B as precise. Yeah. Oh, up smash? Like. Kai's counter pick not really working out at all. Oh, uh, you know, let's see where you go. Is it powerful? Yep. Yeah. I don't know, I didn't just go straight to Battlefield. No, okay. Well, like I said, I believe FD can be a good counter pick for the Falco in this matchup. Well, I think Muscat's doing a really good job. Muscat's uh, the sort of player that, like, tries to find the thing you, you're you not good at covering, and he just spams it. But sometimes it takes him a little while to find it. Yeah. I think that's what's happened with these two sets. He's doing a much better job of um, hopping on the platform when Kai goes for a laser, so he doesn't get the laser stun, and then being in good position. Ooh, can't, that force smash is greedy. You can react there, and you can, you can do anything, to be honest. I should just go to the stage more often, like at the start or something, because this is his home. I think, yeah, I really do think he should counter pick to this instead of FD. Looking good. I think Falco's nuts on the stage. I think Foxy's not at. Falco can definitely do a lot of stuff on the stage, especially since he can go to the top plat. Yeah. jump, which is really nice. I think the platforms are just like in the best position of like any platforms, like, other than maybe Yoshi's for combos. Yeah. Whereas Fox doesn't really get as much off them. I mean, no, he doesn't get combos, but Fox um, is fast enough to make you feel friend at most yeah. parts of the stage. I think the stage is like the perfect size, and like especially the top platform for like Falco to just be able to like move and mix up his options as well. Yeah. Ooh, weak back air to down air, excellent job. If Falco um, had rideable walls, it would be the perfect stage for Falco. Yeah. Well, it, it, I think it hurts Fox more in this matchup than it hurts Falco. Yeah. It really does. Laser, laser, retreating back here. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah. 54%. Only needs probably like two more hits. Hit and, and edge guard. Ooh. Good reaction. Not going to get anything, so I might as well get some neutral pressure with the lasers. Moving forward, dropping to the stage. Ah, oh, sorry. You know, the stage is important to the match. Like, maybe trying to figure out why someone counter picked there. You tell him, Gavin. Also, we're tired and hungry. What do you expect from us, Nick? That turnaround laser was really smart. Wow, really cool. Muscat on the dashback was not expecting it. He's just locking his jump to laser. Wow. Really good pressure by Kai there as well. That's oh. definitely a player that looks amazing for a few seconds and then not as amazing. Yeah. Wow, that turnaround shield drop down there as well. Honestly, really impressive. Looks like Muscat's struggling to get like any meaningful hits in. Yeah, this game is... I don't want to say gone, but... At this percent, like, just one knockoff and an edge guard. Yeah. Well, we've seen Kai lose these. Yeah. Hold the ledge. Oh, not enough. West Fox. Screw that character. Explosive gameplay. Ooh, oh. back air. Out of shield. Yeah, you really can't make a mistake at this point. Muscat trying to get the ledge dash. Hasn't... I haven't seen many successful ledge dashes this set, to be honest. It's and fun. bringing it to game 5 set 2. Honestly, a really good set. It's a shame. It's a good set, it's just, uh, it's just I'm hungry, that's why I want, to, want, want them to... It is. To Honestly, like, following these two for like the last two tournaments has actually been really interesting. They go back and forth a lot. They do. I think they're getting a lot better as well. That's just always, the one of them wins and winners and then the other one... Ooh, oh my god, that shield drop there was really sick. I think that was the only way you got a follow up. Maybe. That was a good angle he did. Yeah, Muscat's really good at the low angles. Good reaction. I like the yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say I like the Moldy Shine. 
you know, between stocks. Good to see. Oh, okay. Oh, that, that was a, that was three shines. Very uh, nice. Oh one. my god, that was really clean. Yeah. I think he needed to fade in a little bit more, so he, like the di out. Oh my god, excellent shine out of shield. Shine out of shield. Um, Wayland, really, really fast. Gets in the stock too. Wow, Kai looking fantastic. Uh, Kai was in winners and Muscat won the first set. Up till. Oh! oh very oh, yeah. fast gang there. Kai didn't expect it. Q, Q, Q. Kai getting a lot of up throw this set. Muscat really needs to start. Maybe he needs to work on the um, SDI when I guess home. Uh, he's got that wave line back here at least like four or five times. I feel like Kai could have definitely done it. Reed's going to stage. Reed's going to stage at the, like this point in the game is like they're panicking. They just like want to get back. They don't really bother with the angle. Ooh, get up attack covered by Kai with the back air. Gets the down air. Wow. This is this is looking very good for Kai, but it's definitely not. Complete yet. Yeah, like... Running away a lot. Muscat. It looks like Muscat's starting to get some space. Kai's really just like running away and looking for the stray hits. Yeah. I think he was working best when he was like moving forward and putting a lot of pressure on Muscat. So I think this definitely could be a turnaround. Oh, Maybe... can... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt, but Kai can play the stray hit game. Yeah, for sure. But it definitely like earlier in the set, he was, um, Muscat was abusing him for. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I was like, it's it like, um, Kai was definitely winning when he was like putting the pressure on Muscat, like moving forward, using the la like using the laser mix ups to catch that back. Now he's really just looking for straight hits, which don't really get him much to be honest. Whereas like Fox's straight hits get a lot more. Ooh, good shine, wake up shine, terrible game mechanic. But good job, Kai. I mean, hey, you know. Oh, doesn't really finish good. it. Oh no, the back <laughs> air. One more edge guard. Oh, oh no. You could have just. What was the this L? This is intense. <laughs> Spaghetti all around. I mean, Muscat looks a lot more composed. Kai. Yeah, go ahead, Cap. He's got, he's got one more stop to play with. Muscat knows he's pretty much just looking for the straight bear though. But he gets it. Is it over? Can he grab the ledge? He can. Excellent job, Kai. Hi. Kai's a winning grand finals against Muscat in a game nine, I believe. Two sets. Mm -hmm. yep. Really enjoyable sets, actually. Good job to both the players. Yep. Oh. It's nice to see both players choke and do good stuff, you know. I can't believe Kai won without star jumps. That's all I'm going to say. You're right. <laughs> Kai! Kai, let's where go. Where was the star jumps? Huh? Where was the star jumps? <laughs> 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 let's go. Oh, uh, That was really fun to watch, actually. <laughs> you had those games, like, those, like, two or three stocks in, like, the games where you had complete control. And it would just fizzle out for a little bit. Managed to bring it back. Oh. That's really good. Well, I guess that's Kai's broadcast for tonight here at EVAC. I guess we'll sign off now. Thanks for yeah. watching. See ya. Oh, see ya. Well, I'm not going to close in case Kai wants to say something. Oh. Well. All right. I'm off. It's a bye from me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone. I beat Musket again. <laughs> now, what's up everyone? Thank you for s everyone for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please follow the stream. And um, yeah, subscribe if you want to support. You're, you're all off. Bye, Kai. Bye, Ruben. It's been real. Um, 
Yeah, so follow the stream, follow at Couch Warriors SA on Twitter and um, follow Couch Warriors on Twitter as well. Uh, Big Cheese is happening. Oh my god, it's in a month. If you haven't already signed up to Big Cheese, go to smash.gg slash big... Uh, smash.gg slash Big Cheese 2 um, and sign up. We've hit over 100 entrants for Ultimate Singles, which is crazy. I meant to put out a social media post saying that we've hit 100, but that's amazing, right? So thank you for the Ultimate community for coming out in droves for this event. We really appreciate the support. Um, so I'm going to go host someone. I have to pack up all the stream stuff because it is my stream. And yeah, that'll be it for tonight. I will host you off to... Um, yeah, all right. So I'm going to host the FNS 225 Weekly in um, Queensland. We are... They are also Couch Warriors Queensland. So go give them a follow. Go give them some views.